Um, we might have talked to them before. Oh, no, we're live. Oh, no, yeah. they're going to do the backyard baseball stuff. We're, we're going we're gonna to be found out as the, as, as the fraudsters we are. Of course. I <clears> knew <throat> it was going to happen all along. Why did I wake up for this? Hey, guys, what's up? We're doing it again. Three days in a row. Three days in a row. This is what we're doing instead of our real lives. Why am I still here? Um, they they say they say that a podcast is like a friend simulator. And what is this but a friend simulator simulator? Simulating dating someone who makes a podcast while streaming that and sort of simulating friendship. Like it is multiple levels of parasocial relationships better why simulate friendship when you can simulate romance let's get at it yeah today we're fucking tom guys yeah we failed to turn ben gay yesterday but we tur- he's gay enough like he knows it and we know it so that's all that really counts <laughs> gay for pay no play for gay yeah all right where are we headed okay uh, I think this is where, uh, like, uh... Yeah, if you don't enlist when you are when you yeah. go here, uh, we were told that that's how you get to the Tom route. Yep, so we gotta be mean to everyone until now Tom asks us to play Tess Azumi. Alright, I saw from a hippo tweet that mm-hmm. you can actually romance Endless War. Well, duh. Like, I mean, hence the, <clears throat> I bet this option. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I'm going to go with I don't want to enl- enlist in Endless War as my vote for this for this route. Do you want to maintain the save files for, for the Ben route for us to play privately? Or do you want to just like overwrite everything because it's easy to get back here? I'm going to overwrite everything because it's easy to get back here. Okay, okay. I don't Fuck want Fucking enlisting to... in Endless War. You know what? No. I don't actually care for your war find another guy to injure himself for the sake of literally nothing (laughs) this war thing just seems so confusing and complicated anyways not to mention it's probably pretty time consuming too and i mean who can understand it like there's so much going on you know like it's just better not to even bother because there's just so much background lore that you need to get into it right that is not what this option does says aura barista Oh, okay. Uh, the the dating endless war. Yeah. Um, we will leave that to discover during play, though. I think. Um, we'll save that for another time. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, are we actually gonna do four days in a row? I wasn't planning on it because you know the the people that I really wanted were, were Ben and Tom, and we accidentally ended up partially with Digi. Yeah, I think going any further than than that would be. Uh, Okay, author Chan says bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> See ya. I guess. Um, who's author Chan? I can't remember. Hey, Aura Barista, it, is author Chan one of your guys? No, no, I'm pretty sure I saw author Chan around somewhere else, but no, no. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, I think I think I want to base it on, on uh, whether or not we get the Tom route and and how successfully we Tom route. But overall, my thought is we put off actually making videos for long enough. After after this stream, we put, should go back to video making. Put off more like gaining inspiration elsewhere. <laughs> no idea. They have so so. If so, they have a different name. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen author Chan elsewhere. So, okay, back to the game. I guess some people are just destined to be gull- a gullible juvie their entire lives. How pathetic. I thought you were better than that, but I guess I was wrong. Scooter in the background just wants some love. Yeah, I'm giving her pets. I turn away from the group and head to the cafeteria for lunch. It's not its not worth it right now to engage myself in the war and all its in- intricacies. Well, if I understand Endless War correctly, there really is nothing to get into. It's just, like... Follow the tutorial and then dick around. Yeah, that's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> and the last horse crosses the finish line. Yep. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll consider it another time. Maybe another time. In a 
another life. As I enter the cafeteria, I look over at the mud puddle and notice Gibbon's unmistakable cloud of hair. Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen Gibbon for a couple days now. Why is that? I mean, of course, I wasn't going to have the exact same schedule like as his, like my first day here, but I imagine I'd run into him at least once more. How strange. After grabbing the cheapest thing off the menu that wasn't keto pizza, I make my way towards his table. <laughs> ben distancing. Yup. Hey, Gibbon. Oh, hey there, mine frere. How's it going? Finally I started to feel like I belong, you know? How's it going with you? Gibbon gingerly presses his fingers together as he formulates an answer. Aww. Hmm. Oh, you know me, just juking and jiving, as I always do. But enough about me. Do you have any favorite classes yet? Honestly, I was kind of surprised how much I'm enjoying music class. I'm still not sure about the teacher, but I never really considered music before, and it's pretty fun so far. Well, uh, would you like to come and visit my place, say, tonight? I have a few guitars and a drum set. We could jam, we could jam a little. Hmm. An evening at Give and Take House, huh? That could be fun. Sorry, dude. Another time, because you're not Tom. All right. I feel really bad about this because I know what it would take the real give and take to put himself out there like this, and it seems like it would be like yeah. this is probably going to be devastating if it were the real guy. Well, he should have been Tom. <laughs> he should have been Tom. Maybe if you were like three feet taller and poor. <laughs> And, and, and maybe physically broken. <laughs> physically and mentally broken. Sorry. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Aww. Well, yeah, I guess we've got a whole school year to do everything. I hope you can come over sooner rather than later, though. For sure. The bell Aww. tolls and, the st and students all begin flittering back out of the cafeteria. Oh man, break's over already. I swear it was way longer yesterday. Anyway, I'll see you later, later, Gibbon. Oof. Or Brisa says, Gib will be fine. He's gonna date Vriska if you don't snatch him up first. Aww! <laughs> That's fitting. Good for him. Excellent. He found a way better waifu than me. Oh, by the way, I gotta tell you, because there was discussion of it on their Discord server, I just mm -hmm. have to mention that yeah. uh, Endless War is a top-tier waifu, and I love her. I mean, Ben and Tom. All right, but for your consideration, uh, Endless War is has a has a better like character design. Uh, and... I mean Tom. But her head is so big and green and triangular, and I... she's she's got a knife, and she's willing to engage in rampant violence. And she's got a knife. She's got a knife. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could see the appeal. I see what you're saying, but... Here, here, hold this knife. Okay. okay. Yeah, see how much hotter you are now that you're holding a knife? This is perfect. I feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because you were holding it in your offhand. On my way through the endless confusing webs of corridors that the PCPU consists of, a flyer catches my eye. Tarbug is a knife guy. The bright green and purple piece of paper announces the upcoming student council election, but doesn't give much inf information beyond that. Excuse me. It's not like I'm expecting a full-fledged campaign, but the fact that I don't even know who's running is kind of odd. Wasn't Mage the vice president? Maybe I should ask her about the candidates. The door sign ahead of me reads Computer Lab, and inside I see a familiar silhouette ha clacking away at a keyboard. Tom! Yes! Hey, how's it going? Tom plays Endless War? Cool. Yeah, it looks like, it. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's also on the, 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 uh, uh, that server, like, quick, quick draw server? Like, uh, quick draw? The, the, the server that, you know, like, uh, Munchie's a part of, where, like, the idea is to make a bunch of artists as quickly as possible. Quick draw saloon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's on that, too. 
Yeah. So yeah. It seems good. I would do that, but I'm not an artist. I'm a craftsman, and uh, making my stuff takes a lot longer. I joined it, and I want to, like, I posted a poem, and I want to post more poems, but it's mm -hmm. also, like, it seems very much a visual artist zone. So, mm. it, there, uh, it's just like, eh, who's going to care? Well, you could maybe use this opportunity to learn to draw. Mm. Like, I've nah. been wanting to learn to draw. I just have so many other spinning plates, you know? I'm also learning to sew, and yeah. I like the idea of learning to draw, but it's not fun. Let's see. How's it going today? Yeah. Okay. Awful. I've been sitting here for hours trying to get this code to work, and it's just not fucking working. Look at this. Why isn't it executing properly? He points to a wall of brackets and commands that I vaguely understand to be programming gibberish. Yeah, no, understanding, not understanding under that, any of that stuff. Why doesn't this university have an IT course? <laughs> okay, well, what's it supposed to do? It should change the way in which enemies respawn. But right now I can't, it just makes them not spawn at all and probably causes a bunch of other issues I haven't even noticed yet. So if you deleted it, it would work again, right? Well, yeah, unless there's something else wrong entirely, but it, it would also wipe away hours of work and I'd still love to, uh, to, I'd still have to figure out how to do this. He stares at the code again while taking a gulp from a huge bottle of beige goop before suddenly jerking forwards and typing another line of characters. The program complies, compiles. Fuck, if this was the only problem, <laughs> if this was the only problem, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. What'd you do? My human logic just keeps assuming that things are obvious and not specifying them, when that's clearly necessary for a machine. Yo, that's a, that's a realistic problem. Wouldn't that be more of a problem with computer logic being weirdly obtuse than with human logic? No, because that's actual logic instead of communicative bullshit, which uh, uh, that leaves room for misunderstanding and is worse in every conceivable way. Upload me to a cloud any day. I want to be a cyber god. Well, you're sure as fuck closer to that goal than me. I haven't even greeted the world of techno babble with a warm hello. Chip Wiseman in the chat says, Hey guys, how are you enjoying the game so far? This game is fucking great. Yeah, I've been very much enjoying it. Like, I failed at the Digi route, but I definitely do intend to go back and see what the full ending is. And yeah. I had fun yesterday romancing Ben, and I've come back for uh, seconds <laughs> with Tom now. We got a, a mediocre way into romancing Digi before we jumped off a building. Uh, I just said that. Yeah, but you didn't say the evocative phrase. You didn't say we jumped off a building. Oh, that's, that's way oh, more fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got to say it in the fun way that makes people want to play their play the game. A game where I can fail to romance someone and then kill myself. How realistic! Well, is it really failing to romance uh, them when you you enter a suicide pact? No. In fact. You make a good point. That is the ultimate form of romance, is suicide pact. Exactly. Exactly. You both uh, went to go get isekai together. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, the the digi bad ending is a doozy. Yeah, I enjoyed doozy it. Doozy indeed. I enjoyed it. So color me impressed by whatever this is you're doing. I'm all up for those doozies. Call me doozy floozy. Yeah. It's a Jesse joke. I know. I know. <laughs> That's still my response. Dying in a video game? What a novel concept. I didn't think it was possible, but here we are. Here we are in, in the, the future, future and it's bright. bright. It's not that hard, really. I always thought I was too dumb for this shit. And I am. But you just do it, and eventually you'll get the hang of it. That is peak advice. There's actually this great book called Learn Pi Learn Python the Hard Way, if you're interested. That sure, maybe I'll look into it. But <clears throat> I'm having trouble believing that you are too stupid for anything, Mr. Ex-Professor Programmer Guy. Tom, unwillingly, unwilling to just accept the compliment, reaches for his milkshake-looking drink again. That's really nothing to be impressed by. Oh, this is so accurate to Tom. 
just like playing off any of his accomplishments as though they they're meaningless. Ah, uh, I feel him so much right now. Yeah, th- this makes perfect sense why Tom would be your guy. Yeah. You pretty much just have to be be at the right place and the right time, and maybe not completely brain dead to become a professional pony fag. <laughs> There's enough fuckers on the spectrum who will eat that shit up. You know, I I have thought about like doing pony videos again. I mean, it's a bit late at this point. It's never too late for autism. Uh, Tism. Uh, Tism. Uh, Oh, shut up. <laughs> I really feel like you're being too hard on yourself, but sure, if you don't want to cr- want credit for that, I'll shut up about it. What is that Huel stuff you're drinking, by the way? And don't tell me it's wine. Huel is, like, my favorite wine. It's the only wine. <clears throat> nah, only alcoholic beverages are wine. This is post-food lunch. Besides... People look at you weirdly when you tell them that you're substituting meals with wine. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I'm guessing this is more weird. This is more weird transhumanism. In part, sure, but there's also pragmatism to it. The stuff is relatively inexpensive, and most importantly, it makes makes it so you don't have to cook. Oh, that is 100% mean. How have you not gotten on the Huel train yet? I don't know, cause like, liquid lunches always seem like. It wouldn't be filling enough for me, but maybe maybe I need to get on it. All right. I've done Soylent before for a little okay, while. Okay, you've done it, but not with my body and my weirdness with food. Well, what I'm telling you is that it has, like, fiber and stuff in it, so, so it's more filling. Well, maybe it's time I try it. Yeah. Um, my recommendation uh, in getting into something like that is just to get the default flavor and add flavors to it. What you're supposed to do, really, is get, like, a cake batter flavor, and then you add, like, um, like, uh, flavoring agents to it, like chocolate syrup or something. Flavoring agents? But then that's cooking. Adding chocolate syrup to a milkshake is not cooking. It is cooking, because it's doing more than just throwing something in a thing and calling it good. All right, chat, hit, hit us, hit us with your wisdom. Is adding chocolate syrup to a milkshake cooking? I'm also going to pose this in the Discord since not everybody's here. It sure is. It sure is. But here, go and read Tom's part first. In part, sure, but there's also a pragmatism to it. The stuff is... Oh, wait, I already read this. Oh, okay. Because cooking takes fucking time, and why would I want to waste precious hours on just keeping my body from dying. Oh, I so feel this. Like, not exactly in the same flavor like uh, Tom feels it, but, like, I don't want to cook. Like, I want, I'm hungry now, not five minutes or ten minutes or twenty minutes from now. Like, yeah, I'll probably still be hungry, but I'll be even more hungry, and I'll just feel even more miserable. So why not have my food right fucking now? I don't want to, like, sit and watch it in a pot or on a skillet cooking, because then I'm just going to be tempted to want to just eat it raw and you're not supposed to eat things raw apparently or at least most things because you can get sick or something and why would i want that i don't want to get sick just because i want food so why why even bother cooking it all right glass of orange juice super chats twenty dollars and says yes it is cooking holy sh this is your first like Big time super chat. Yeah, like, I've gotten, like, a dollar before, but holy fuck, thank you. And yes, someone agrees with me. All right. Since dollars are votes, I (laughs) guess that means that you've outvoted me 20 to 1. (laughs) Uh, When you got more skin in the game, you got to be right, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Oh, my God. Pretty sure that's a not a healthy way of looking at food as a concept. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter as long as you get the nutrients, right? I don't really care if it's healthy. You better believe I will min-max the shit out of my life to spend more time on art. Oh, on God, art. yes. Plus it tastes all right. Yeah, like the sooner you get things, like food on your plate or whatever, the sooner you can sit and watch YouTube and shit. <laughs> all right that's consumption not creation but well, well, like well, I get, i'm picking up what you're putting down consumption turns into creation eventually i may have written these lines but i don't endorse tom's message 
<laughs> oh, oh, come, come join us in the post-food utopia. <laughs> oh, 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 so now you're post-food too, huh? Hey, I never said I wasn't down to be post-food. In fact, I think I might want to skip the, like, tasting it portion altogether and, like, install a feeding tube. I mean, I guess, but that's, like, a bunch of extra work. Like, not only installing it, but then having to, like, you know, maintain it and stuff. And at the ba that point, it's basically food again. <sighs> All right. It does seem like that would be a lot of extra work. Um, I've known people who, not known personally, but I've known of people who got, like, a, a feeding tube that pipes directly into their stomach, and they, like, throw all their food into a blender and then, like, like put it in a funnel. Like, they, they basically beer bong their food directly into their stomachs. We've already, like, established that's still cooking. Yeah. Using a blender is cooking. Mm-hmm. Just saying, it seems like a lot <clears throat> of these nutritional suppl nutrition supplements are scans at best and straight up poison at worst. All right. It's not a supplement. It's a replacement. Yes. There's a difference. What should I say? To me, that's a risk worth taking. And it hasn't killed me so far. <laughs> All right. So I really want to dig into this idea that he's pushing here. Like, um, even if it's bad, even if it's an, a nutritionally incomplete, people already eat very restricted diets in the modern day anyway. That yeah. are Most people already don't get enough uh, nutrients. Yeah. So, like, let's say I eat a pizza and a bag of chips for every meal of every day. Am I better off by drinking nothing but Huel than I would be if I were on that diet? I think that's an upgrade. Don't you? I mean, probably, because, like, I would assume the people who make Huel, like, have to care at least a tiny bit about, like, what they're putting into it. Yeah. Uh, I have to imagine that, like, um, ramen noodles and a multivitamin would probably leave, leave you leagues ahead of just, like, poor person food. I honestly just have no idea. And I say that as somebody who has lived on poor person food for a long time. The code has finished compiling and Tom rubs his hands in anticipation. God, I hope this worked. I lean back in my chair, suddenly realizing that I still don't know what exactly it is he's working on. Wait, I didn't even tell you? Fuck, this is Marketing 101. Tell people what you're making and what your deal is 24 fucking 7. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, Marketing 101, the class that no one takes. <laughs> <laughs> And second of all, how dare you insult me by implying that this is some derivative bullshit like a mod? Oof. <laughs> I'm working on a 100% genuine one-man indie game here, and it's fucking dope. Should I just abandon that front altogether, or is this something you'll accept compliments for at least? Not before you've actually seen the game and told me what sucks dick about it. After that, it's up for consideration. Aww, he's just drawn so cute right here. I love it. <laughs> so what's your game about? Sell me on it. It's an action platformer centered around a cute raccoon ninja girl and her bloodthirsty sword slicing up monsters and generally being edgy. But in a cool way, hopefully. Want to check it out? I want to say yes, but a quick glance at the clock reveals that I really should be heading to class about right about now. Academia or video games? A moral quandary as old as time itself. Go to class. How could it possibly have any far-reaching significance for me to play this game right now? Oh, that sounds ominous. <laughs> Who the fuck am I kidding? I am games. When have I ever chosen any differently? I... Really, really relish how obvious this choice is. Yeah. Like... I feel like he's going to kill himself or something if I don't. <laughs> I mean, just because it's it's a visual novel doesn't mean that the choices and the, the route options have to be obtuse, you know? Like, this is a very clear click on this button if you... Uh, click this button to stick it in Tom's butt. <laughs> that That's, that's <laughs> the choice. Oh, hi, B-Crunch. <laughs> Hello. Oh, good timing. Who the fuck am I kidding? I am games. Sure. Fuck it. Do I need a controller? It's preferable. Here you go. 
The game starts up with lightning flashing and a 3D model of the titular wrecking girl attacking the screen with a katana. Whoa, who made the that intro model? <laughs> I, I take offense to your assumption that I didn't make all of this myself, which admittedly I didn't. The music was outsourced. <laughs> I guess I just don't assume that everyone's a weird art polymath. All right. Now, here's some here's some deep lore Tom shit. He actually could have made the music. It just would have taken way longer. He also mm. is a music guy who has like a like a contracted keyboard. Oh, I literally had no idea. Cool. Yeah. You have to watch uh, a 7-year-old video in which he talks about it mm. on his original Pony channel. Is that even still up? Yes. Okay. I remember there's... I barely watched any of Tom's Pony videos, but there's one video that I'm pretty sure was by Tom that I kept watching in my I'm uh, transi- I'm in transit to Chicago like every day, and I just downloaded a bunch of YouTube videos to keep watching on repeat. Which one? I have no clue at this point. Hmm. Um, B. Crunch says, I once played Dating Sims on Newgrounds. Yes, most people I know of were exposed to dating sims on Newgrounds. Not me. Uh, ever watched Malcolm in the Middle? Yes, quite a bit. Um, nope. But not in a long, long time. Not at all. The The actor who plays the main character had a head injury towards the end of the show and doesn't remember playing on that show whatsoever. Oh, that's terrible. In fact, he has horrendous long, long-term long memory loss and... Like every once in a while, he'll re- he'll be told to watch the show. Like, hey, that's you. You were in this. You did this. Isn't this cool? And he's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Poor guy. What am I doing here? Damn. <laughs> yeah, Frankie Muniz. Um, he got fucked in the head. Anyway, uh, yeah, yes, Tom is the everything guy. Uh, B Crunch says I rewatched it a lot. I thought Frankie had a stroke. Um. Stroke, head injury, same kind of, the same basic concept. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> well, you have to be. It's the indie lifestyle. Now play the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, do you think we should stream a, a, a Let's Play of a Zoomy game at some point? We could. Like... I mean to, like, maybe pick it up every once in a while. I, I always mean, it's forget not, about it. Yeah, it's not like the whole thing is out. Well, it's, yeah, no. No, it's just a demo. The vertical slice. Yeah. I press X, the music starts up, and I find myself in an alleyway. So what are my controls? Dude, there's literally writing on the wall. You are going to perish, but it also tells you what the buttons do. <laughs> we in the industry call this kind of thing game design. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you too. Four out of ten. The gorgeous sprite work distracts from the instructions on the screen. <laughs> Barely a minute in, and there's already some garbage score and a bullshit justification for it. <laughs> this is a fucking problem with games journalism. You don't get to make that joke. I'm literally playing as a strong female character who isn't sexualized in the slightest. Oh no, my humus, hubris has come to bite me in the ass once again. The broad market appeal of my product is preventing me from making shitty Gamergate references. Oof. <laughs> he waits for a bit until I pass the large metal gate before exclaiming in perfect unison with an announcer voice. Revolt! So am I supposed to find an exit or something? Nah, just kill everything in your path. You know, like a ninja. A few... A few attempts and the occasional frustrated noise from Tom later, I finally make it to the end. Ooh, fucking amazing! This was way worth skipping mean class for. You didn't tell me that. Nate is gonna kill you on sight if he finds out. All right, you've yeah, been late. Well, you've been late twice, and now you skipped his class. It's always Nate's class. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it was Ben's <clears throat> once, but it's always Nate's. Well, you weren't late to Ben's class, were you? I feel like I was w- once. Either ways, it doesn't matter. Fuck Nate. I'm playing Tom now. <laughs> Is it because he's a crypto-fascist? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's unkind to Nate. He's not a crypto-fascist. He's an ANCAP. Get it right. Yeah, well, fuck academia. You obviously don't give a shit and you made it made all this, so honestly, what good is school really? 
Don't put me in a position where I have to defend this shit, but the connections are useful for one thing. There's a reason why I'm I'm trying not to get kicked out of this place, after all. They won't kick you if you make yourself big enough of a deal, and without trying to blow smoke up your ass or anything, Azumi is a big is big deal material. Still, that takes a shitload of marketing for anyone who isn't an, an insane genius or ridiculously lucky. I'm neither, and I have to work on the, on my project, learn skills to complete it, and market it simultaneously, which is just a lot, especially if time is running out. Well, you didn't have a, a marketing assistant before, did you? Yeah, right. Look, I appreciate the thought, but you, you should try to not miss whatever the next class you have is. <clears throat> Being responsible for my own fuck-ups is about as much as I can deal with, and I really don't want to be responsible for yours as well. Oof. Ooh. Ooh, the, like, the Tom energy is just entrancing. Yeah. Yeah, really good job writing, dude. Almost a week has passed since I last talked to Tom, despite the fact that we see each other in some of our courses. It's not like I blame the guy. I haven't initiated a conversation at all, either after all, with the weird tension that would pro w that would obviously result from one dude offering the other to be their private cheerleader or something of the sorts. What the fuck was I even thinking? I'm new here. I have no pull whatsoever. How could I possibly be a valuable asset? Stupid. Tom is rubbing off on you. Yeah, very much so. We'll be perfect together. Wait, this is what you're actually like. Yeah. Welcome to the club. <laughs> and the last horse crosses the finish line. This is the second time you made it in this. Made that. Uh, re uh, th 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 you said that in the stream. Like, bad. You're not the only one who can be self -dep deprecating. In fact, I'm the best at being self-deprecating. I will self -de I will out self-deprecate the shit out of you. Um, okay, I'm sure you will. Like, that's my thing. Like, I, I, I yeah. Yeah, I, you even fail attention. at sucking. Okay. <laughs> that's not, the uh, uh, statements made do not actually reflect the feelings of, and the thoughts and feelings of uh, Tower Bark Transom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's just the effect of that cool things have. You want them to be appreciated. You want others to share your amazement, and you ruin your relationship with the creator by being a fucking idiot. Adult. A piece of fucking garbage. Shit, I let my frustration on an innocent piece of chicken by ramming a fork into it. Hey, having a bad day? I might have screwed up a friendship in record time. Have a seat, I'd love to be distracted. That's no good. Have you tried to talk it over? Gib pushes another green, pur purple, green purple election reminder aside and to make a place for his food. <sighs> Hadn't had the balls yet. What's with that student council election anyway? Do you know who's running? His face suggests that he doesn't quite understand the question. Well, endless war. It's the student council after all. Yeah, sure, I know that she's president, that mage's vice, but who are the other contestants? I don't see any campaigning. Oh, there are no other contestants. There haven't been in years. Is it such a hard job? I would assume that some people would have a go at it for the prestige alone. Maybe? I don't know. But mage has done, some, has done such a great job representing the student body that no one re else really sees the need to replace her. And people are just scared of endless war. That's one of the best qualities in a waifu, in a waifu, being afraid of her. And that's why I like Samus. And that's why I tried to fuck the bird doctor. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, we can both appreciate the wonderfulness that is Endless War. I mean, I, I cast, but she's scary in a way that isn't full, isn't that attractive to me. Like, it's not, it's not the right kind of scary. Mm -hmm. It needs to be understated a little bit. I am very partial to, like, Samus-esque hyper-competence, which is why I had such a thing for the Kate Beckinsale's character in Underworld. Celine? I've never seen it. Don't talk to me like I know what you're talking about. Hmm. 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 That's Like, the, right. the most Underworld I saw was, like, it playing in a doctor's office and just not fully understanding it. Gotcha. All right. The thought of 
the thought of running probably isn't crossing anyone's mind because of that. So they've been unopposed forever. No, no, but I just might have an idea about how to set some things right. Sorry, Gib, I've got to go. Determined, I quickly make my way to the cafeteria doors. Along the way, Gib says something to me that I can't quite hear over the sound of other stu of the students of students who are for some reason chanting evanescent songs with varying levels of skills and sincerity, but instead of turning back, I just shout, "You can have the rest of it." Hoping that he asks something along the lines of, "What about your meal?" I wonder what Gib said. Oh no. That's interesting. Yeah. I hope we didn't end up on a bad route. We'll see. Well, well see. what possible choices could we have made? I don't other know. Than I don't know. Date Tom. It's hard to say. Sprinting around the corners and jumping down flights of stairs, I push the movement mechanics of life to their very limit, at extreme detriment to every joint in my body. I only barely avoid eating shit on multiple occasions before reaching my locker. On any other day, I might have some concerns about irreparably fucking up my spine pulling sets like this and uh, wasting time contemplating what a bummer that would be. <laughs> but not today. Not now. Not with a friendship on the line. I rip the fucker open in search of my phone, but something else catches my eye first. A note. Oh, I think that's Tom. Hey, I'm sorry for acting like a dick. Really. Still kind of stand by what I said, though. <laughs> Look, you're a nice dude, which is exactly why you shouldn't make yourself part of this train wreck. Oh, it's really flattering that you like my shit, but we can, but we can be pals without you uh, feeling obligated to be my hype man. Just do your own thing and come over for some wine, so we can le leave this uncomfortable situation behind us, Tom. Damn it! The fucker beat me to the apo apologetic punch and didn't even make part of some overly convoluted scheme that cost them at least half a plate of perfectly good chicken and tea already. Chicken and tea. Yeah. Oh well, someone did put in the effort, so get the wine ready, Tom, because the game is fucking on. Speaking of wine. Are, are you going to volunteer Tom to run for student body president? That's what I was afraid of. Like, oh, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to see how this goes. You know, be his hype man. Yeah, like Tom asked me not to do. Exactly. Uh, lime wine is, ugh. Ugh. All right, I got to try your lime spritzer. You did try it already. You tried it a while ago. <sighs> lime wine could be better. You know, you you remember when we got like um, those those lime flavored uh, tortilla chips? Yeah. This tastes like washing your hands and then licking your fingers afterwards. <laughs> ew. Ew. What's ew about washing your hands and then licking your fingers? Like maybe you'll taste soap on there, and it's like you just dirtied your hands after washing them. That's so stupid. All right. Eating some of the chips, then rinsing your hands, and then licking your fingers. Okay, that's different. Is that better? That's still, that's different. It's still dirtying your hands, but yeah. Okay. Hey, you got the note? Yes, and you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> what was it? Indie but not alone? You want a pal? Well, guess what? I'm the palliest pal in the whole fucking world over here, and helping each other is what pals do. You can't just tell people about your problems and subsequently shoot them down when they're trying to be supportive. So, I guess what I'm saying is, apology accepted, now listen to my fucking marketing proposal. Tom understandably looks a bit taken aback, just standing there, a bottle of liquor in one hand and two glasses in another. Oh no. After a second of unbearable silence, he finally stretches the hand with the glasses out towards me. So what's the plan? Maybe we should get to drinking first. A pretty smart guy once told me that we wouldn't survive the semester sober. <laughs> he might have been overly optimistic in suggesting that survival was ever an option to begin with. Honestly, I'm just starting to get scared with all this preamble. Ooh, that is so Tom. I'd say it's worth a shot, and excessive optimism might be just what we need. To survival, then. Yeah, cheers! Kampai! 
Great wine once again. Notes of rye and trials ahead swirl in my mouth, though the latter may be contextual. <laughs> Seriously, though, tell me what the fucking plan is already so I can finally call you insane. Fair. The scheme really isn't all that ridiculous, in theory. We'll simply run a baller marketing campaign to get you elected as student council president, therefore putting you in a position of relevance, from which it will be far easier to market your game and almost impossible for them to revoke your scholarship. Is that it? If it sounds too easy, we can also add a few steps and expand the student council's influence to kill-a-kill -kill levels of absurdity. <laughs> get our own troop of... Obsequious. Uh, obsequious butlers and shit that would be neat no i just meant that i just meant is that the entirety of your plan essentially yes it's missing all the details but i didn't even know if you'd agree so it's more of an outline you're insane well are you in oh for sure <laughs> i've watched enough shonen to know that insane plans are the only ones that ever work just making sure. You don't have any practical ideas on how to beat Mage, do you? Why Mage? Shouldn't we be primarily worried about Endless War? She's more likely to kill us, true, but the students are voting for Mage. She's the one they can talk to. <clears throat> Endless War is just an egomaniacal psychopath who won't, uh, who won't accept being the vice president, so Mage takes the back seat. So Mage is the shadow uh, president? Yes, she's the shadow president. If we're running, we're running against Mage first and foremost. So what have you got? You've been at the school far longer than I have. Why do students vote for her? Is there any dirt we can use? What are the hot button issues we can capitalize on? She's sweet, genuine, and constantly helps people out. So much so that students call her mom. And has done a great job for years. Hmm, that's hard. <clears throat> The fact that she's a girl also helps, probably, but I'm guessing you didn't want a list of reasons why we can't realistically win this. Come on, there has to be a chink in her armor. Anything ex exploitable will do. Believe me, you really don't want that. These people know Mage, and they love her. If it seems like we're leading a smear campaign, we're done for. Not that I'd want anything to do with that anyways. As for hot-button issues, we'd honestly have to ask the students. I spend most of my time sitting somewhere working on a video game. I don't know what they want. I guess that's my first job then, finding out what these sheep even want from their leader. Tom Oliver, man of the people. I like the ring of that. <laughs> it might be a bit much, just a tad cliche, don't you think? Oh, he likes it, look at that. That might be the wine though. <laughs> You're the one who left a literal, physical, and handwritten note in my locker, so cliche really shouldn't be a problem for you. What are you expecting here? Social confidence? That's not a bad thing, because it shouldn't be a problem for you. People love cliches. They eat that shit up. Tom lifts his glass one more. To market research. To market research. Yeah. So, that concludes our discussion of why this show sucks fucking dick. <laughs> if you think I'm full of shit, write me a fucking essay on why you think it's good, and if you do an okay job, I'll read it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're just gonna call me a contrarian douchebag, you can get right out now. You can get out right now, kid. Any questions that aren't stupid? <laughs> yeah, what would you want from a student council? <laughs> Subject-related questions. You didn't pay for that rant. <laughs> I bust out my wallet and slam ten bucks down on his desk. Not sure if he's actually allowed to take money from students, but getting the most popular professor on our side is probably worth the investment. <laughs> they should just let me do what I want with my courses. Not that I'm doing, not that I'm not doing that anyways, but ideally the student council wouldn't be entirely irrelevant to what I'm doing. Maybe they could recommend my classes to more people instead of perpetually fucking with, with what topics are advertised to whom. That's pretty <laughs> much it. <laughs> Interesting. Does that mean that the student council is the platform? Is that is it, the student council YouTube? YouTube? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Endless War is YouTube. Interesting. Well, Mage is YouTube. Endless War is just a figurehead. Adequate. I really don't know why you would want me to rant about this. Colossal waste of money. 
not doing anything isn't a platform someone can run on, and I'm pretty sure that recommending courses isn't the job of the student council anyways. Fuck. Suddenly I feel a tap on my shoulder. If you ask me... Yeah. If you ask me, what student council does doesn't matter as much as the fact that they do it. There has to be some notion of progress, or else it's just a big old waste of time, isn't it? If they would... If they would friggin' commit to anything, we'd be getting somewhere. Anything else? Let's see. It's not. Digi doesn't get what a student council is or does. <laughs> that is so... Oh my god. That is so representative. That's because he gets his idea of a student council from anime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I guess they could abolish event items on the cafeteria menu. <laughs> event items? <laughs> Fucking keto pizza is a permanent option, so why the hell can't I have pretzel buns or whatever the fuck I feel like eating a, or or whatever the fuck. I feel like eating a pretzel burger. Okay, whatever the fuck. that sounds doable. I have to ask some more people. Write an email or something if you have other ideas. Yeah. Door. It just says door. <laughs> I love it. Wait, it says door. I'm going to wait to Professor Saint's philosophy. This one says death. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's about. Death, meme, gym, library, exit, science, door. I'm on my way to Professor Saint's philosophy class, and an obstacle which I had almost forgotten about blocks my path. Ready to set an end to my information gathering and my being in general. I had high hopes for you, you know, that you would put in the effort and dedicate your life to this school. So, where were you in class last week, Sigiri? What have you to say for yourself? I, um, I didn't want to be a cog in the machine. A heavy silence hangs in the air, and I try to put my best to just look the right amount of scared and sincere without quite knowing what the right amount is exactly. Nate's eyes are hidden behind shades, but there's no doubt in my mind that he's staring straight into my soul and judging my moral character with utmost accuracy. This is the kind of silence which precedes executions and utterances of the word. What? I'm working on a bunch of projects right now, and since attendance isn't mandatory, skipping it from time to time is sensible to do to maximize effectiveness as a human being. Oh. Well, if I ever see you lazing about somewhere, wasting valuable minutes, wasting valuable minutes that could be spend that you could be spending in my class, prepare to be fucking eviscerated. I'll make sure not to. Actually, I'm doing some field research right now, so it'd be great to, if you could tell me what you would want from a student council. They would have to definitively prove to me that they have what it takes and that they are the best people for the job. Any second that they spend on pointless bullshit is time that could be used to get us closer to fucking Starfleet, and that is a crime that can never be forgiven. Sounds about right. Anyone who proclaims himself to be ruler needs to stand at least waist deep in blood and slime. I love her. A student council can only be legitimate if all of our student councils have been eliminated with extreme prejudice and not a single soul dares to stand in their way. I'm pretty sure there can only ever be one student council, so rivals aren't really the issue. But they are. There are always rivals, so there will always be endless war. Rowdy or killer, Sagiri. Rowdy or killer. I've got to go. Well, in this troper's humble opinion, does he actually say that? Does he say in this, her, like, this troper? I, I, That's awesome. I don't think I've heard that before. Well, in this troper's humble opinion, the student council's job should be to build an alternative infrastructure and counter institutions, which would facilitate a dual power takeover of the school and a democratic redistribution of influence and resources. Isn't the pure mid-scheme already an alternative power structure? Also, what resources do you want to redistribute? No, you fucking idiot. They're a parallel power structure. They're so intricately interwoven into the school itself that it, I wouldn't be surprised if the same guy was behind it. 
That might sound like a conspiracy theory, and maybe it is, but it would be completely unsurprising. I, I, I love that. I love that. Ah, uh, even in fiction, Ben is my guy. Yeah. As for the resources, let's just say that there is a lot of corporate-ass fat cats <laughs> with, may- with way more slime than anyone could possibly need. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think we might be better off without them if you catch my drift. I guess? He has said that, like, once. Okay. I, rem- I remember... Wait, where am I? Now that you say that, I remember him saying... Is this Jesse's room? Baby Groot, Colt the, Corona, the, the, Faye the Valentine, goofy. goofy. The Goofy poster? It is the Goofy poster. That's the Goofy poster that made him cry. The Goofy poster that made him cry what? Yeah, he remembered the existence of Goofy and just, like, started to tear up at, at just how happy that was making him. But oh, Jesse's oh the fucking best. Nice. Oh, a Rocky Horror Picture Show. This Rocky is Horror. obviously Jesse. Yeah. Okay. Always believe there's a pinky down there and a Vegeta and a and a fucking Wolverine. Oh, all of this is great. General equivalency diploma. Nice. GED. Nice. Yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage, Cocoa Puffs, not Cocoa Puffs, the other one, Count Chocula. Yeah. Man, I'm 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 digging this. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Yeah, I, I was just thinking a while ago that we haven't really run into uh, Jesse at all. There's a there's a Highlander uh, tag up there, and the the post eye patch Oscar. Yeah. Awesome. Who better to ask than That's the guy? That's me. Oh, okay. Wait, guidance counselor. <laughs> he's he's become Starlight Glimmer. Oh my god, okay. Who better ask than the guidance counselor? This is where students come with their problems, after all. And boy, do I have some problems with the awful suggestions I've gotten so far. Come in and bow before the footwear man. But I'm already in. Then bow. It's it's the least you could do if you crawl in here, asking me for my help like it's my job. You people disgust me. Well, it is your job, isn't it? Anyways, I want to ask you what the student council should be doing. Oh, did I ever tell you that, like, I confirmed the yellow thing with him? My my theory about his thoughts on yellow was correct? Uh, which, like, uh, what do you mean his thoughts on yellow? Uh, you remember the yellow yeah, yeah, episode? Yeah, I know the yellow all thing, that? yeah. He insisted that his, that his videos were not yeah, yellow. Yeah, I know the yellow thing. Right. Well, I asked him... Like, you clearly spend time in color correction. Did you make it look accurate to your eyes if you were to stand in your room and look around? And he said yes. The reason that, like, there was a little bit of yellow light coming in from one of the uh, windows because there was, like, yellow paper or something like that over the window. And that's where it was coming from. And... He in or, he had to maintain that in order to make it look accurate to what it's like in the space, but it's overall not, it's not like hard yellow or anything like that. It's just tinted because of the 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 uh, the ambient ref- reflection from that light source. That would make sense. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Orbrisa says, please pick the political talk option. It's not an important choice, and I'd love that extra dialogue. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Let's do it. Well, that's easy. I don't know if you've noticed, but there are a bunch of really stupid pieces of shit at this school. And there's nothing we can legally do about that. So you mean, like, correctional measures or something? What? No. I should be allowed to fucking kill them. Everyone should be allowed to kill everybody, and then no one would be worthless garbage human being anymore. Do you know how long I've wanted a trap door in front of this room so I could get rid of these fuckers? Forever! But no, that would be far too extreme a measure, they say. You're deranged, they say. You want to know what I have to say to them? Uh, point out that he's only worked here for a week at best. 
ask him what he, he says to them or talk political, political theory. Or Brisa wants us to do that, so let's do it. Yeah. What kind of weird, sternary ideology is this? It's called anarcho-fascism. TM. I don't think you can trademark that. Well, I have to, because some piece of shit imbecile wrote a Wikipedia article about the wrong thing with that with that same name to spite me and ruin my funny made-up political beliefs. Except <laughs> I'm serious about them. The, this is the real anarcho-fascism, the ideal of the ideology of the real America. Right. So, what do you say to people who call you deranged? All right. So, I I know that that's a the the anarcho-fascism thing is a is a real thing. I, I followed it at the time. Now that I've watched like 500 JREG videos, I have the the language to describe the thing that he's he was trying to talk about, which is uh, anarcho-monarchism. Okay. Yeah, it is wanting every individual person to be a king. Okay. Isn't that ridiculous? I mean, I guess, because the idea of a king relies on there being people underneath them. Yes. But if everyone is a king, then that is... Then no one is a king. Right. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I want to fucking kill them for having the audacity not to understand that living with these people is far worse than death could ever be. This... This solved your problem? Sure. Good talk. I gotta get a little bit of that rasp into the very back of my throat in order to make it a true Jesse impression. Yeah. Oh no, Munchie. <clears throat> There's one thing that's key for a student council that's so fucking essential that a human mind isn't even capable of comprehending it. I feel like I'm clipping the mic. Am I, uh, guys at home, am I clipping the mic? And that is that you have to bring young blood. They have to be Zoomer-ass, enlightened children of the earth, just like me. (laughs) Because their minds are so fucking pure that they can manifest the future that God wanted without even thinking about it. They can rid the universe of cynical fucking Ben (laughs) St. Boomer douchebaggery that has ruined this school. Debauchery. Debauchery. What did I say? Douchebaggery. Equivalent. No, no. In what way do you consider the school to be ruined, and how is percent- how is it Professor Saint's fault? Literally fucking obvious. This whole place is such a fucking spiritual decay, is in such a f- sp- fucking spiritual decay that I can't even sense my own chakras. <laughs> what? And they have to be able to draw. Because people who can't draw, literally not real people. Not actually even, actually not even real. Young and able to draw. Got it. So, are you actually serious about this whole student council thing? I guess, for reasons too convoluted to get into, this is really important to help a friend, and it's the only plan I could come up with, so, yeah, I'm doing this for real. Why are you go- why? Are you going to tell me that it's impossible? No, it's going to be hard, sure, but I and I don't know how to do it, but I've done hard things before. And if you really put it up and put in the effort and work smart and don't give up, then then it works and you can be like, "Yeah, I did this thing and it was hard, but I did it." So I guess it wasn't really hard at all. That is such a good thing to say. Yes, this perfectly encapsulates Gib. I I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we didn't really comment on it, on it at the time. Do you want to talk more about that Jesse scene and the anarcho-fascism thing? Because I like how that was used. I, in particular, I like that he, he said it with the little TM instead of just the letters TM, you know? Yeah. And then you reacted to it anyway. That's a, yeah. that's a nice painting the medium. Yeah, I appreciate it. And I thought it was a funny little, like, divergence from everything. Just like, what? Mm-hmm. Like... What? What does that even have to do with anything? Yeah. Thanks, guidance counselor, for nothing. Exactly as useful as every guidance counselor has always been. Huh. Well, I certainly don't intend on giving up. 
Jesse is way more wholesome in his own route. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet so, yeah. Like, he seems like the kind of guy who seems impenetrable, but, you know, once you get to know him, he's actually pretty chill. Yeah, if you if you share, like, five words with the man, he's the realest guy. The, at I least that was, that was my impression from from meeting him. If you folks at home want to know more about what I what my impressions were of meeting him, you can see my long as fuck uh, BronyCon vlog on my channel. Um, link in the description. I don't know. Probably not. Turn your fucking phone off of vibrate and tell it to shut up. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for the motivation. All the weird suggestions for what student council should be almost had me believing that this is an impossible quest, so I guess I needed that. Hey, sorry <clears throat> for just running off during lunch. Oh, no problem. I could tell that it was important. Hey, Gib, security, what are you talking about? Hey, Mage. I've, act I've been going around asking people what their expectation and wishes for student council and getting off of results. Because 90% of people here are apparently lunatics. So, what do you want from the student council? Shouldn't I be asking you that? Listening to what students and professors want is kind of my job. And yeah, some of their ideas are a bit weird, but I'm sure they only really mean half of them. Excuse me. Is this about the election? No, it's for my journalism course. Never mind. <laughs> Why did I think it was a good idea to even ask Mage? What the fuck was I thinking? Good okay. job. Okay, the results are less than stellar, let's say. Maybe even completely worth it, but worthless. But that isn't what marketing is all about. To figure out how to sell the idea of something to people who don't even know what they want themselves. I'm sure we can figure out something. As a team, we have data now. That's a start. Just oh, fucking fuck. tell him. Try thinking about how to spin this. I feel like... Save. He, yeah. I feel like he'll appreciate just, like, getting straight. I feel like, um... This is gonna be a branching path, and neither of these options are going to exit the path or necessarily lead to a bad ending. You think so? Yeah, because remember there was a there was a, not an important choice. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm gonna so, just fucking tell him. So that's the flavor you want to go with? Yeah. Yeah, that is exactly what I would do as well. Here goes nothing. Tom, I have no idea how to tell you this, but running for office at the school is impossible. It's genuinely not a course of action that is even remotely pursuable for anyone who isn't completely bonkers. Oh, I know. But what finally convinced you? Oof. <laughs> you don't understand. These people are too autistic to be catered to. All of them. Is that an acceptance criterion for this place? Might be. Actually, no. I'm absolutely certain that it is. But still, what have you got? No, really. You would have to be insane. Maybe I am. I agreed to your plan, after all. And besides, what did I tell you about insane? It's the only thing that works? Exactly. So... Point by point, what do these lunatics want? Fuck. Half of it was just ideas for revamping the entire social order into some kind of communist regime under which you get to kill people, I guess. <laughs> ben? Yeah, also the guidelines counselor. That's not even <laughs> within the power of the student council. And even if it was, it would be ridiculous. How the fuck are we supposed to work with that? No, actually that's pretty helpful. How? How in the hell could that possibly be helpful? Because we're not really marketing a product. Well, we are, and that's but that's usually not how the voters see it. We're marketing a person and a set of values that the consumer agrees with so that they would want to support us for who we are, not for what we make. Yeah. You really want to go with equality and manslaughter? That's what we stand for? God, no. That's way too specific. But, but both those things play really nicely into some kind of revolutionary aesthetic that we could use. This is actually some really good strategy on his yeah. part. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm really liking this. Smart Tom is true Tom. Yeah. 
This is a university, after all, and what could be more attractive than a rebellion? Free tuition? Well, maybe we can utilize some of the communist stuff. Okay, let's stage a protest, I guess? This was meant to happen. Stage one of the project election. Revolt. Do you have a face mask? You suddenly seem weirdly excited about this. What can I say? I've always wanted to be a cult leader. <laughs> nice. I listened to Mark Howe do so many times. I need to go back and watch the rest of Market How Do. I watched one of the one of the proto episodes, um, like when he was playing with a similar concept but in a different format. Back when it it was on Rebel Pixels, um, it was um, the the like forty ish minute how to be an artist on the internet and turn uh, being a bad artist into paying for your house. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might have missed that. It's very achievable. Like, the, the route that he portrays is very doable, even after the Tumblr apocalypse. Like, it just means that you need a change of venue. Hmm. Okay. Two more weeks until election day, and we're kicking our campaign off with one hell of a stunt. <laughs> I <Yes>. am Antifa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there he goes. Antifa. The person. Students of PCPU, your liberation has come, if only you are willing to take it. Here we are, dressed in all black, face masks and sunglasses, standing on a pile of desks that we arranged in the corridor at four in the morning. The man won't be able to ignore us now. <laughs> Excuse me, oh gosh. It was a burp that tried to go back up. Ugh. I don't quite know whom I mean by the man, but it fits with the aesthetic, so fuck it. The student council, helpful as they may be, has not solved the fundamental problems that plague your life. Alternating speaker, th the, the alternating speaker thing was my idea, and I'm relatively pleased with how that's working now. It really helps with selling this as a movement. Yeah. And that's because systematic problems requ require radical solutions and good old collaboration. Peaceful reform isn't going to cut it. For the past semesters, each student council election has only, has only had one candidate. For those capable of inspiring change, were too, uh, too cowardly to stand up and fight besides their fellow students. Well, not anymore. Because those of you who have to be courageous now are all <clears throat> because those of you who have to be courageous now are all of you now there is a choice you may choose to stick with the status quo if you decide that the raging gang war the pernicious pyramid scheme the slime disparity and all other inconveniences that you have to deal with day after day aren't real problems at all or you may choose to actually make a difference, to rate what is wrong, and to fight alongside us. Tom rips his mask off and throws it in into the sea of students, some of whom are listening attentively out of fascination or amusement, while others are trying to make their way past us to get to their classes. I'm Tom Oliver. Some of you may know me, and I'll, I'll be running for student council president. If I am to topple the old elites, then I'm going to need the help of every last one of you. Some have joined our movement already, small as it may still be. This, Tom points at me, I too remove my mask, is Sigiri, and he's going to be my vice president. Hey, there's one, there's another, there's another he. Uh, yeah, there was one earlier, uh, uh, mon frere, like that's my brother. That's brother? Or, I wait, thought it wait. means friend. Frere Jacques, uh, no, no, a, a me is, uh, a friend. Frere is brother, like, uh. Brother, uh, like, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John? Okay. Some students cheer while others r retain their expression of perplex perplexed belief. Disbelief? God damn. The status quo has failed, so vote Oliver and spread the word. At this point, I propose to drop a smoke bomb and vanish, but apparently those don't actually work too well. <laughs> so we'll just let this introductory event slowly degrade into, onto an open forum. I choose to believe that the smoke bomb and vanish thing is a reference to Trixie, his favorite pony. <laughs> nice. 
Did I say slowly? Forget that! Davout steps out of the mass of students almost immediately. What about the artificial scarcity of pretzel buns in the cafeteria of PCPU? Consider it fixed. The revolution won't stop at food products and won't stop at anything else. <sighs> oof. Wow. Whoa, oof. That's 9-11. Oh my god. 9-11 is a character. Yeah, like, uh, you don't run into, the, like, I ran into them when I was, uh, like, when I went to the 7-Eleven, like, you know, like, to see what's up with Munchie. This is incredible. Like, damn. How do you intel the tents to melt those steel beams? <laughs> I can't discuss, discuss this in detail, but believe me, the pillars that uphold the establishment will crumble, will crumble before us all, and, and all it takes is your support. <laughs> oh, 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 that's incredible. Oh, look, the fun ruiner, the, 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 the fun killer, Nate Besman himself. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Okay, everyone, clear the fucking hall. However significant you you feel this to be, it pales in comparison to the sheer importance of improving yourself as a human being. And that includes coming to class on fucking time, you peons. With Nate distracted by the students, and the students distracted by the colossal verbass whooping they are receiving from Nate. Come on, click. This seems like the optimal time to inconspicuously flee the scene. <laughs> Tom throws a few flyers in the air before we jump from our makeshift pedestal and make a run for it. Glass of orange juice says, I have never been more attracted to 9-11. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Yeah. I mean, 9-11 does have an appealing figure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like two towers that came together on the ground. In a pile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I understand that that probably makes you uncomfortable, but Very I do much. love 9-11 jokes, like, legitimately. Um, yeah, they're not for me. I, I understand that. I, I kind of, like... I, I keep making the meme joke every time. Uh, I, I'm just kind of like looking forward to the day when I have somebody who actually wants to take me up on my joke uh, holiday celebration of free uh, Twin Pops and Jenga. And here I'm just like, Scooter's my toes, piece shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that worked pretty well. We had a decent amount of people who stuck around for the whole thing and we absolutely nailed the aesthetic. I have a good feeling about this. Sure, we definitely piqued the interest of some. The question is, how many from this crowd will actually stick around? And how many just took in the spectacle while it lasted? So we need a way to capitalize on the initial boost and make sure the momentum doesn't die down. Exactly. I'm thinking merchandise, maybe? Shirts and shit for the students to openly show their allegiance and make the whole, whole thing propagate itself. Sounds good would probably help to turn this into some kind of movement, but I have another idea for a marketing stunt. Hit me. What is it? Well, when I did that little opinion poll, Nate in Endless War put a lot of emphasis on the importance of competition and proving yourself directly, so I was thinking about organizing a little contest. Hmm. How do you turn the qualities associated with being the student council president into a competition? I don't think we have to. What you beat Mage at is likely irrelevant to most everyone, but the benefits would would still be twofold. For one, participating in any kind of high-profile event gives us free publicity, and secondly, having won against your opponent at anything is simply a good look. Who wouldn't want to vote for someone who wins at things? Don't tell me you're proposing that I compete in that game show. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. Ten paces and draw. Yeah. Yeah! yeah! I'm saving just in case. Okay. Propose being a candidate on ten paces and draw. Or pretend he does not to know what he's talking about, but I'm gonna... S Propose being a candidate on ten paces and draw. Hell yes, I am! 
Mage is going to be there, and half of the stu- school will watch. It's perfect! You do realize that they make the person who's second, second to last in each round wear a silly hat, right? That's not a good look. Good thing you're not going to come in second to last, then. You said you are, for God's sake. What is there to worry about? The fuck do you mean by what is there to worry about? You're in the art course, and I've seen your attempt at drawing election posters. Hot damn! Shots fired. First of all, harsh. I'm pretty sure I got the idea across with those posters. And second, without any sardonic, self-deprecating bullshit, can you or can you not draw? I guess I'm alright. Though my skills have gotten a bit rusty since I focused on 3D and game dev. Hell, I can barely remember what a pencil is. Not that it matters, since the deadline for applications was yesterday, and the next event won't be until after the election. Come on, I'd be a piss-poor excuse for a campaign manager if I hadn't already taken care of that before. (laughs) Hot damn! (laughs) You signed me up without my consent, without even knowing if I could draw? I have your consent now, and it was a sort of last-minute idea, therefore asking wasn't really an option. (laughs) <laughs> also, your coding 3D analysis guy who told me that an indie creator needs to be able to do everything. So I think I took the most boringly safe bet in assuming that you could draw. I bumped into Professor Digibro as he was leaving his office, and while helping him pick up the documents he was carrying, I put your name on the list of participants. Tom laughs. <laughs> it's settled then. Want to come over for a drink while I do some preparatory doodling? Gladly. Do you have any wine? <laughs> I love the the marketing bromance we've got going on. It is great. Yeah. The the way that they that you two play off of each other is really satisfying. This is a very well written uh uh the the, 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 the path. I love it. Yeah. I uh, I'm I enjoy how PCP guy changes bits of his personality based on who he's going after to be the kind of person that would mesh with the person that you're you're seeking out and it just makes sense because like otherwise you have to have like a basically personality list person like that you're playing as which is always one of the worst parts of being in a visual novel Mm -hmm. like you're just playing a nothing character being ambivalent is way better than being apathetic yeah yeah, I definitely like the flexibility of PCB guy in this. Mm-hmm. Or I guess an, another way to say that for people who don't know the difference would be uh, every personality trait is more interesting than no personality traits. Exactly. I don't I don't want to be like that girl in the visual novel that doesn't even have a face. I'll be that girl. You will be right over. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. All right. I suddenly remembered that the ending line to the song that I was singing in that like in that little stanza is, and if I had a gun, there'd be no tomorrow. What? Like... I've heard that song hundreds of times on the radio as a child, and it just settled into me now that that's what the next line is. What the fuck? If I something something, you would be in clover, and if I had a gun, there'd be no tomorrow. That's weird. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Orbe says, yes, that's very deliberate. PCB guy adapts incredibly well to whoever he's romancing. Which I greatly appreciate. Yeah, totes. Yeah. All right. Topes my gopes. Ten Paces and Draw, as the event is titled, is a beloved game show at PCPU, which is broadcast across campus and whose betting profits allegedly rival those uh, of the school's cannabis trade. (laughs) Facts, of course, which I, as a newcomer, was up to this point entirely unaware of. Causing the determined stares of doubtlessly proficient draw boys who fill the room to send shivers down my spine. So, it appears that I had slightly misguided expectations for the scale of this thing. Anything I need to know? Yeah, no shit. I tried to tell you, but you kept claiming that I was exaggerating. <clears throat> Why would you need tips anyway? You're not even participating. 
In my defense, that seemed way more likely than the, the school having a TV-scaled Iron Shep ripped off. Rip off. Also, I'm managing your social media. Project S-U-M. Remember? Don't you think that having a bit of context would increase my likeliness of likelihood of selling this thing with benefiting amounts of drama and gravitas? Fair enough. The, the judges are Digi and Nate, and they're going to be a bunch of obnoxious jackasses, but they're going to be that way for everyone. So don't claim bias or complain about them being needlessly harsh. It's just how the show works, and people who watch it would, would see me as a whiny bitch. Okay, noted. <clears throat> what about other contestants? S-U-M is a market how-do reference. Okay, that's oh. why I didn't catch that. Yeah, I didn't quite catch it either. Cool. S-U-M. Uh, what, is it, what does it stand for? It's artists managing each other's social media. Oh. Gotcha. Interesting. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I do my own stuff and you do your own stuff. Why is it so fucking hot in this room? Um, because we allowed the thermal mass of the of the house to rise because the... I'm just, like, fucking dying, and I think part of it's the booze. You, that's definitely a part of it. Oh. Um, having alcohol does, like bring your blood to the surface and that makes yeah, you feel hotter even though you are colder no i'm not colder it's just fucking hot no i don't care what, it, what it's like my body feels like it's just hot no i mean your objective body temperature is probably dropping but because <sighs> your blood is all up in your skin then it makes you feel hot my blood is all up my skin how is that different from any other time <laughs> in my life the the <laughs> I know. Fucking I'm just, proportions, I'm just, man. I'm, 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 I know. I'm you being know what I'm silly. Saying. Why can't you be silly for once? I I'm 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 silly when it's my idea. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ever play uh, everything or nothing? Never no, heard I of it. no, I've not. Uh, switch up marketing. The idea is that you can market better with an outsider perspective. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <clears throat> All right. It's a timed challenge, so people with a more simplistic general style definitely have an advantage, meaning that Ben and Munchie pose a real threat. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Since Mage creates detailed drawings unbelievably quickly, though, we shouldn't discount her either. Hmm. That is, so that is all true to life. Uh, the other thing you can that's important is that humor is just as essential as execution, if not more, and a funny interpretation of the theme will go a long way. So Gibbs fucking dangerous on that front. Oh no. Oh no. Gibbs smiles and waves at me. There's no way on earth that on earth his participation has any malice, but I still feel a bit betrayed. But they're like established draw boys of PCPU, right? I guess, yeah. Why? Well, you said yourself that you don't you haven't drawn in a long time, so you're kind of off the radar, which means that this makes for a highly compelling underdog story. And it plays perfectly into the style of our campaign in general. Definitely use that. I just hope I get far enough to capitalize on it. On it. And don't worry, you'll do great. With that, the show begins, and I'm pushed away from the filming area to sit somewhere in the hallway and watch the events unfold like everyone else, hunched over my smartphone. Oh, this is tense. Mm. <clears throat> First few rounds don't go particularly well with Tom, ending up wearing the jester hat every single time, though not for lack of stunning artwork. On the plus side, he's still in the race, but so is Mage, unfortunately, meaning the battle is far from won. A brief recess between rounds allows me to allows me precious seconds to trade pep talks with my par partner in crime. How goes the social media? It could be better. Some rowdies are really digging the clown look for obvious reasons, but most people have their favorites and don't give too much a shit about the other candidates. I'm assuming Mage has quite a few students' favorite. Oh, the audience is going nuts for her ever since she started coloring her drawings. How the fuck is she doing that anyways? I have no idea. She has literally the same pencil as the rest of us, and yet there she goes, using multiple shades of purple like a fucking magic art monster. Of course. Mage the Great and Powerful will never reveal her tricks. 
Jesus, fuck. I, I should have never told you about the pony shit. One more reference and you're fired. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ooh. Aren't you curious? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. What did I what did I miss here? Mage, uh, Mage the Great and Powerful would never yeah. reveal her tricks. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I love it. Let's see. Uh, okay, I've been thinking the bullying of Rick was to avenge Terry, but I feel like some of the people spinning uh, Spinner and Jay and others started doing it for fun, like eventually. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. It started out as revenge, but then it just kept going. Well, I don't know if it was necessarily for fun, but more just like, you know, I'm doing justice. That's what he deserves. So, of course, it just makes sense. All right. Click. But you, you didn't say that, though. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. You You're stopped. treading on very thin ice here. Yeah. You, that, that, no, like you I, didn't. You didn't say it. You stopped and reread like things. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. my fault. You're yeah. treading on very thin ice here. Oh come on! That's perfectly normal context to use in that word in. I'm not trying to fuck with you. I of course was trying to fuck with him. And seeing how he's gotten noticeably less tense, the risky conversational maneuver was a success. It's funny how effortless our interactions have become over the past few weeks, despite the stress of doomed to fail election campaign. Losing myself in deep, those deep brown eyes as he's talking, I can't help but feel a desire to become more than his marketing assistant. More than his friend, even. Pee in his butt. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. God, no. No. Why would you even... <laughs> I, I know some someone must like it. This is done, okay? I didn't, like, tab it, so shut the fuck up. There you go. It was already done! It was just a tiny bit left! You hadn't flipped the tab over. Oh, and I didn't flip the tab on the other one, but I moved on to the next one anyway. But that, uh, that doesn't stop you. I'm trying to help you build a habit. You're trying, you're bullying me into a habit. That's what you're doing. That is the same. It's not the same. Now open <laughs> this because it's hurting my fucking fingernails because they're too long and I haven't, like, uh, trimmed them because I'm fucking lazy about my hygiene. What did people do to trim their fingernails before the invention of fingernail clippers? Like, if you have to trim your fingernails in, like, the 1300s, what do you do? I don't want to think about it. Do you use a knife? That seems hard. But that's not a knife. Now this is a knife. Knife. Fucking knife. knife. Uh, <clears throat> you see, uh, B, B Crunch says, I guess to me that it just seems like the Spinner Jimmy, like Spinner Jimmy and, what? Until he wised up and Jay, Jimmy until he wised up and Jay started to enjoy it. Like by the time Spinner got his, his uh, worst hairstyle in time standstill. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't say like, necessarily enjoying it it was just kind of like maybe a little bit of like a sick pleasure but more just like you know like spinner and jay were natural bullies but like i guess like uh they were using that you know their natural like clinician inclination to hurt someone in a way that they think was deserved like basically like it's not cool to pick on someone like JT because people like JT, but it's cool to pick on someone like uh, like uh, Rick because everyone hates Rick. It's cool to pick on people like Rick because fuck him. Yeah, basically. All right. Hey, are you listening? The next round is starting, so I've got to go. Yeah, definitely. Best of luck. Oh, no. I'm developing feelings for him. Give us eliminated despite excellent punsmanship, leaving only Mage a, and a still clown hat wearing Tom to move into the fin, fin, finale. I can't talk. The political significance of this matchup isn't lost on the attentive audience members all across campus, and I'm starting to fear that this plan might go hor might horribly backfire. How are you doing? Overwhelmed, mostly. Really, I didn't think I'd make it this far, and being this close to elimination each and every round isn't the most hope-inspiring thing in the world. Understandable. Do you want something to drink? Pretty sure the judges wouldn't take too kindly to me throwing up on my drawing, so I'll pass. What are the people thinking? 
The showdown between you and Mage is received the way we want it to be. And particularly vocal contingent of Saint Heads come to use the TPAD hashtag on communist memes featuring your face. Okay. TPAD. Uh, I don't know. Um, hey, Arborista. Or Barista, what does TPAD mean? Yeah. <laughs> they switched when their favorite professor got eliminated and are gener generally eating me and my propaganda, so that's good. Are they buying t shirts? Like there's no tomorrow. Oh, 10 paces and draw. Okay. Duh. Duh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Makes sense. Sleep uh, deprivation? BC, B Crunch says, good point. I also bet Terry would be disgusted that Rick was allowed back, but even more disgusted by how far the bullying got. Probably. Probably, yeah. Great. Any other news? Some idiots ask things like, why are you participating in an event organized by the system you claim to abhor and receive mul a multi-paragraph replies before being blocked? <laughs> don't block them. I know that it that it isn't really, but I don't want to be accused of censorship. Consider it done. You better get back in there. The final round is starting. All right. Do you think it's censorship? No. Like, you have the right to see and not see what you want to see. Yeah, totally. Curating your own see, it's censorship. space is, it's, is different. Yeah, it's censorship if it's on, like, a, if you are a much bigger person. Like, like if this if the account is for, like, something way more big and official and governmental. Or, or if it becomes, like, I'm actually willing to go a lot farther than most people on the whole censorship thing. Like, YouTube... YouTube censorship is censorship, even though they're a private company, because companies yeah. are governments. Well, yeah, and, like, especially with YouTube, like, they themselves, like, they are the de facto video platform. Yeah. Like, they're basically the only video platform in the game, so if they bury something, then it is effectively buried in society. Yeah. How many people have you ever met who spend most of their time on daily motion. Is it nobody? Yeah. Because I bet it's nobody. Yeah, yeah. The only people on daily motion are the people kicked off of YouTube and not yet kicked off of daily motion. Yeah. The tension <clears throat> that fills the halls of PCPU is palpable. And with Tom having done two different sketches and still clearly unsure, the odds of success are slim at best. On a different note, the stream has been cutting it out every few seconds and the motion graphics are noticeably fucked. Five minutes into the, round, into the round, Tom gets up from his chair and walks off camera. Sounds of confusion echo through the building. Shortly after, Tom is back in frame, phone in hand, and ta talking to some staffer. What the fuck is he doing? He grabs a tablet from some someone off screen and sits back down. People on social media are starting to bitch about the show being explicitly about traditional drawing and this being a violation of the rules. What is actually happening reveals itself gradually. As the feed stops cutting out, and the motion graphics find their intended position on screen. Only Mage's drawing is rated this round. What's going on, dudes? Okay, what's going on? All I'm saying is that you don't really know how they're going to spin this yet. You fix the stream. They should be thankful. Oh my god! He fixed the stream. Yes! Polymath motherfucker. Pulling oh, it out in the end. Oh, yay! Oh, this is gonna go good places. I hope so! Oh, damn! Let's see. Um, uh, da, 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 da. It isn't censorship if I personally disagree with, th with the thing being censored. <laughs> oh, basically everyone else on the fucking planet. BC Crunch says, I go to Daily Motion. I don't have an account, though. Cool. The lethal Aurora Mage thing. I talked to her before. Cool. Cool. She seems like a cool person. And, like, she seems a lot more like me than some of the other PCP people. Hmm. Uh, Cutter Storgel says, personally, I wonder what would have happened if Rick and Rick, with Rick, if Terry actually came back in season four to Grassy, would we never have to deal with him? Thoughts, vamp? No, like, 
by that point, Terry would have probably wanted nothing to do with fucking Rick. Like, you know, she gave him a chance once before, and, you know, he, he blew it. Like, he put her in a fucking coma. Or, like, put her in the hospital, you know? So. I need to watch the rest of the show. Yeah, we'll get around to it. But, yeah, <clears> so, <throat> like, I'm sure at that point she wouldn't really care. Like, maybe after a while she'd be like, okay, that's enough, but just whatever. Okay, Tom? You know exactly how they're going to spin this. I walked away from the competition because I knew that I couldn't win. I may as well have just given up. You asked Bestman if you could get the Tom the time you spent on technical difficulties to finish, and he wouldn't let you. That doesn't sound like the kind of guy who's given up. Anyone with half a brain knows that Nate wouldn't give extra time, no matter the circumstances. Couldn't you just admit that we're doomed so I can leave this behind us? I'll admit nothing of the sort. Why did you even do it if it's apparently such a shitty idea? I don't know. My nerves were fried and people were being incompetent at dealing with tech that when they could easily look up the solution on the web frustrates me. That idiot had like 5 billion unnecessary projects running in the background. His resolution settings were fucked, and he hadn't updated the program in years. Like I said, thanks to you, the show could go on. So would you wait for actual reactions before fa falling into despair over what they think? This isn't me falling into despair. That happened yesterday. I haven't slept. You've, we've lost, and I'm ready to die. Have you considered that the reason you haven't slept is that... You're way too tall to lie comfortably in your car. Pretty sure the crushing defeat and general feeling of inadequacy also plays a role. Actually, I've thought about that. Maybe if this whole thing doesn't work out, I should just leave. Cut my losses. Oh, this is so Tom. Leave the school? Is that MLP Tom Oliver? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Yay. Yay. Boston, ideally. I could sell most of my shit, get in my car, and work on a zoomie until their money runs out. A voice disrupts a somber moment of silence that follows. Extra, extra, technical screw-ups at the ten paces and draw set. Student council candidate saves the day. Read all about it. I was fucking right. <laughs> you clipped the fucking mic. As always. <laughs> I didn't know there was a student newspaper. His, it's Kirito. Yeah, it is fucking <laughs> Kirito. But I don't know why. <laughs> Based. Great, I love it. Same here. Uh, cool, how old is this game? It just came out this month. Yeah, it's like, like five first, days ago. Yeah, it just came up like the first of this month. Fresh off the presses, buy them while they're hot. I'll take one. That'll be 15 PC pennies, good chop. What's it say? The sick, nasty, school-wide game show extravaganza known as Ten Paces and Draw unsurprisingly pulled ill-wicked numbers and got viewers way invested as the broadcast of the program itself stood on the line. The evening and the baller competition contained therein was, however, miraculously saved through the dope yet tragic, tragic self-sacrifice of the presidency candidate Tom Oliver or some shit. Oliveus. <laughs> Oliveus. Okay, I, 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 I Tom, completed. No, Tom Olives or some shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who fixed the fucking internet like a rad tech wizard from the those cheesy ass '90s PC repair commercials? You know what I'm saying? Uh, B. Crunch says, ever watch Rising of the Shield Hero? I haven't heard of Tom Oliver for years. Uh, well, Tom, uh, Tom is in lots of places. You can generally catch him on The Procrastinators, uh, which is a sick, nasty podcast. It is a great podcast. Yeah, and he's <clears throat> also working on a literal fucking video game right now. Yeah, um, it, look him up on Twitter, and uh, it, it's something like Tom Oliver Says. Yeah, yeah, at Tom Oliver Says. Uh, it's the place to go for, for the Tom hub. Uh, he has, like, since he stopped doing Pony, he's produced a lot of content. I guess if you didn't follow him to his other channels, then you wouldn't have seen it. But, like, yeah. there is now a wide bevy of Tom content to go back to. He, he um, also does, uh, like, Patreon podcasts as well. Yeah. Um, if you want just, like, pure undiluted Tom uh, one thing that's kind of obscure that it, you want to get, you want to uh, like consume this before it like 
slips off of your radar forever is a podcast he did on the Procrastinators channel called uh, The Hyperbolic Wine Chamber. That's wine like the drink. Yeah. Wait, is it wine like the drink? But it, it, I don't know. I think it's wine like the drink and also wine like complaining. Hmm. This is whining. Ever watch Rise in the Sh- Shield Hero? Yeah, and I hated it. Yeah, you did. I liked it. I liked it up to a point, and then it's, it got stupid. Uh, Orbrisa said, it said Tim Olives. Yeah. Tim Olives. Yeah, I knew what my brain was doing, like, after I read it. <laughs> uh, BC, B Crunch says, he's do- doing vids. Cool. I guess after he quit MLP, I guess I thought he scattered to the wind. Not quite. I mean, kind of. I followed that guy to the ends of the earth because he was one of my favorite people on the internet who was who was having thoughts and publishing them um and i kind of chased down everybody who was in that circle uh him and digi and um and to a lesser extent gib and and like jesse and ben and nate basically everyone in the pcp basically everybody yeah Mage therefore got to the, to wow us while all of us off our shitty seating contracep- contraptions with contraceptives her, <laughs> with their totes adorbed Pokemon looking thing ooh woo and the broadcast could continue to transpire normally through a series of events described only as way lit yo nine out of ten not enough purple despite the overwhelming presence thereof peace out dogs you know what this means the journalism is dead. <laughs> It means we're still in the race. You can win this. Will you please fucking stop already? Stop what, Tom? You read this dumpster fire in an article yourself, if you want. This is exactly what it says. So stop pretending that you've already lost when you clearly haven't. Lying to me. I'm shit, and I know that. I wouldn't ha- have to spend all my time marketing myself if I was actually good. S- super not true. Yeah, not true at all. People would flock to me naturally, but they don't. So be honest with me and accept that I'm a fucking failure. Fuck off, Tom. Like, I mean, you feel like this. I mean... You 100% I mean, feel like this. I mean, we're, we're talking about Tom, not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, like the drink, so... Yeah. It inspired uh, fan ideas of mine. Shield Hero, I mean. Yeah, I also like it. Shield Hero was good. That. I liked it again up until a point. Like, then it, it just started being like, okay, this is just being fucking, fucking stupid. I don't agree with your harem assessment necessarily. Like, there's clearly some audience appeal of the harem element to it, but it, it doesn't seem like that's what's happening in-universe to me. I no longer remember the exact reasons why I don't like it, so I can't say anything about it anymore. Okay. It's, it's Anastasia now. So you're not M. Dot. I get it. Most great artists have to sell themselves to get anywhere, and some fail despite doing so. I'm fucking rager that your staggering unwillingness to put yourself in the spotlight is precisely why some people, some why some people flock to you. They're interested in the kind of person who would pass up the greatest publicity stunt, greatest publicity stunt imaginable, despite needing exactly that in order to fix some tech and make everyone else's evening a bit better. Well, guess what? If you truly want Azumi to be a household name, you're going to have to sell it yourself. So call yourself stupid or shit or failure or any of that crap on the campaign trail one more time. And I swear to God, I will punch you. All right, I'll try. Azumi's worth more to me than my dignity, so I'll have to. But I don't think I'll, that'll ever stop me from wanting to be like MDOT. Oh, speaking of MDOT Strange, do you want to watch the MDOT Strange movie on, on our watch along next week? I don't know. I don't know, like, really what that is. I hear Emda all the time, but it's like, what? He's a 3D animator who made some trippy art house movies, kind of. Uh, again, I'd want to, like... Like, is it something that I can trust that we can watch on our, like, watch-alongs? I'm pretty sure. I mean, we okay. can look up the tags if you want. The fact that you're pretty sure, like, have you seen it before? No. Okay, then I'm going to say no, because I want at least one of us to see, have seen it before so we know what exactly we're getting into. Well, I already have it downloaded, so I will watch it. Okay. 
Okay. Made an OC who I ship with Melty. Prince Delpert. Melty. Melty. Um, Melty is the little sister, I think. Melty's the little sister. Okay. Yeah, because I think Malty is the older one. Melty and Malty? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not the best names. Nope. I'm assuming you have a plan. You're not going to like it. I didn't like the previous ones, but me being miserable hasn't stopped your madness from working so far. (laughs) Ah, that blush. That's reassuring. Anyways, I was thinking of utilizing your time as a professor in the marketing strategy. How much more qualified could one possibly be? Oh, in that last frame, I was noticing some, like, bleed-through of the art on his chest onto the object that is his arm. Oh, I didn't um, see it. We still didn't download the patch, so I don't know if they fixed yet that. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think about it. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Why? This is this not being public knowledge is insane amount of potential wasted. Yeah, but I wasn't proud of it while it lasted, and I'm not proud of it now. I won't let Azumi be tied to this because now, finally, I actually care. They don't give a shit about what you taught. It's about the prestige of being of the professor title. That's all. All of the teacher, all the teachers know, and I told you pretty freely. But I can't. It can't be the reason why I get elected. It can't be why Azumi gets the audience she deserves. I can understand that. Oh yeah, oh, like I can see that bleed through now. Yeah. Those poor double eyes. eyes. I think that's pretty fucking great, but. Like, that's an aesthetic that kind of only appeals to me. Yeah. But if you won't allow it on principle... Look, I know that having principles reduces my chances of success. That's obvious. But I don't fucking stand for anything at all, then my art is worthless. Just more mindless, crowd-pleasing bullshit, and that's the worst thing I can imagine. Okay, I'll try to think of some, but I'm still your campaign manager. I kind... Like... I see where Tom is coming from, but I don't agree. The fact that you have a platform... Like, Like you have to use it. It's a guaranteed platform, and it's not like it's guaranteed that those people are going to follow it just because you it's you, you know? I mean, you have to take what you've got. Think back to when they all quit Pony and started doing other stuff. Most people didn't follow. Well, yeah, and um, like there was a huge drop off because while they had a bunch of a, a large platform, they only caught the proportion of their pre the proportion of their pre existing audience that had followed. Yeah, you know? yeah, and I'm totally feeling that now with Degrassi, like as I'm trying to like branch into new things, like like on, like only a handful of people are following me from my Degrassi shit. Ugh. Yeah, and it's like you have to build up for, again from scratch. Oh, very much so, yeah. I hope you make the right choice. With that, Tom leaves. Fuck. His position is clear, but I just can't leave him. We've got some support going, sure, but that's not enough to win this. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Let him pack his shit and drive away forever when I haven't had a chance... When I haven't even told the stubborn fuck that I love him? Fat chance! Maybe I should... Maybe I just have to do what's best for him, even if he doesn't see it that way. It's worked so far by his own admission. God, no, he'll hate me. I'm a shitty friend. I'm a shitty marketing assistant. Fuck. Uh, goddamn. Okay, let's see what our options are. Betray Tom... Oh. Betray Tom, win this gay-ass election, and hope he'll forgive me. Go after him, play some video games together, and hope... Better option presents a better option presents itself. Um, this is hard. Yeah, I bet this is a thing that actually really matters. Like, I feel like at this point, fuck the election. Like, be there for Tom. Yeah, I'm kind of want to say it's better to be there for Tom and stick to his principles than yeah. to go against his wishes and maybe get him the thing he wants at the cost of the reason he wants it. That's my thought, too. Yeah, because, like, even if, like, he wins, I don't think he'll be happy with it. 
Like, he'll still resent me in the end. Save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We saved. Oh, fuck. Totes. Oh, yeah. it's on top chat. I should That should have changed back to live chat. I think it's basically live chat. Let's see. Um, there I we think... go. This is the good and bad end choice. Shit! They're both good, so you should play both. I mean, I've... Okay. I well, totally trust that they're both well written. Uh, I, yeah. I just want to pee in his butt. I just want to pee in his butt so bad. You're, you're not even peace be dude. I'm <laughs> peace be dude, and I don't want to pee in his butt. <laughs> All right. So I should explain the joke. That that joke came from the Spoonie review of Final Fantasy X. Okay. Uh, about how Titus is in love with Yuna, and that gets phrased as wants to pee in her butt i see <laughs> that's so stupid okay do either of you mind shield hero anime spoilers i mean i saw the whole first season like there's no yeah, surprises there i i saw most of the whole first season like it was the last couple episodes where i just gave up i'm gonna go after him we'll try it all right tom wait tom waits do you want to go grab a do you want to grab a drink there's nothing i'd rather do I doubted you for a second there. I hope you're not too disappointed. Don't worry. I doubted myself, too. Guess I let the whole election thing get to my head a little. It happens. If you ask me, you made the right choice. See, I don't waste, I, I don't waste evenings playing DMC with my campaign managers. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked, aren't I? Maybe, but I'll help you, and, and I'll help you, and give you tips and such. That's what pals do. All right. Aww. So I don't I I don't think there's anything that's more Tom than getting this close to success and backing out. Oof. Like Big oof. letting letting the the opportunity pass you by and doing something else is the most Tom choice possible. As in okay, Orby said as in this isn't nearly as bad an ending as some of the others. Okay, okay, that's good. Well, okay, either way, we win in some little way, I guess. Uh, B. Crunch says, so you know what happened with the king, multi, bitch, all that cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was right, multi is the older sister. Ha! Stupid memories. Okay. And so we just sat there, drinking, passing the controller back and forth, and laughing about the ridiculous lore tidbits that Tom dropped from time to time. You know, I kind of regret throwing away that win. What do you mean? Ten paces and draw. Maybe I would have lost anyways, but there could have been a chance. You made the right choice. Why does it bother you now? I told you that I put Azumi on Newgrounds, right? Well, guess whom the Game of the Month title got snubbed from last second by some big tits fan service game? Well, that sucks, but it's still second place. Yeah, and second place is great, for sure, but a win would have been nice. I guess I'm just tired of losing to cute anime girls. Are you drawing a parallel to Mage and Endless War here? Because that's really reaching. No, no it isn't. No it isn't. Mage and Endless War are both cute anime girls. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maybe? It definitely feels like I'm giving up in the final round again. You haven't lost yet. There's still time before the vote. It's in two days. That's more than enough time. You know, I think we have been going about this the wrong way. These stunts are nice and all, but we never actually really try to market you on the basis of what you actually make. We need to show them a zoomy. And how are we supposed to do that? Do you still have the fa that face mask? <laughs> oh, damn. I think this is a good ending, guys. A really good ending. Despite the overwhelming abundance, you were taking a drink. Of scenes in that entertainment media, this was the first time in my life that I actually found myself crawling through an air vent. <laughs> <laughs> also, despite the overwhelming abundance and stuff of such scenes, I was utterly unprepared when it gave into our weight and dropped me and Tom onto the floor of the exact room we were trying to get to. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna save just in case. Not on that one. Not on that one. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get up and do my job. I think. Yeah. You can just choose to botch it at the end. <laughs> just like Tom. These are both good ends. Yeah, but I want a good er end. I want the goodest end. <laughs> Why the fuck would I even consider passing out in a moment like this? Why would one ever actively consider passing out for that matter? What a bafflingly retarded thought. I must have a concussion or something. <laughs> Where's my fucking sword? Now that I'm doing the real ninja shit I, feel, oh shit, I feel like I should have a sword. We can take care of that next. Now, make the announcement. Tom staggers over to the desk and grabs the microphone labeled for when the dervish starts a whirl in. <laughs> <laughs> he makes sure it's broadcasting, takes a deep breath, and exclaims, Fellow students, class is canceled, but if you are games and you truly want to play a sick-ass action platformer made by yours truly, come to the computer lab to see the games you want to be. Before Tom even gets a chance to put down the microphone, the, the sound of thousands of footsteps fill the corridors. Okay, let's get out get out of here before Nate finds us. Do you know any safe place? The computer lab is going to be too crowded for him to find us. It's also a good chance to get some feedback. All right. Did Tom say the R word? Yes, in real life and in fiction, constantly. What R word? The... The other one has Azumi as in the real character? That's awesome. Nice. Uh, nice. I can show you some of the artwork by, via DMs. So there is, an, there is a channel in our Discord called, like, Artwork or something like that. Post it there. Nice. Unless it's, like, Lollyporn, in which case don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't do shit that will get us kicked from Discord. Or shit that, you know, it's not nice. This is it. Rad Prom has arrived, and with it, the announcement of the election results. This day also marks my last chance to tell Tom how I feel about him. Or at least, the last dramatic chance. A braver man would have confessed his love, lying side by side in the dust and rubble of a class air vent, but alas, I'm a little bitch. A little bitch in a dashing suit, that is. God, I hope we win this. It's easy to feel small and insignificant in the giant, beautifully decorated auditorium. And it's even easier if it's half empty because a large swath of the student population is in the computer lab playing Izumi and the vertical slice. <laughs> Sounds like as we intended. Hello, puny students. Before the festivities commence, let's get the technicalities out of the way. By that, I of course mean the position of the student council president, which unsurprisingly, once more, goes to... Nate folds a small piece of paper open and pauses for a moment. The auditorium is dead silent. Tom? Oliver? This can't be right. Oh my god! <laughs> Without a moment of hesitation, we rush onto the stage. I'm sorry, I haven't really prepared a speech, which is, like, the lamest statement you could possibly start a speech with. What kind of hack needs a stupid script to get their genuine thoughts across? Just grab some wine and rant into a microphone like any other asshole. We're handed two glasses of champagne and Tom lifts his into the air. This, once again, isn't actual wine, but it's the closest we're gonna get, so fuck it. I still don't know why I'm really here. I actually wanted to leave this place weeks ago, but if I w learned anything, it's, it's that it's not about skill. It's about persistence and embracing your own stupidity. Some people probably voted for me because I saved their favorite show. Some because they're weird fucking communists. And others because they, like the g they liked my game, hopefully. But that's just the unimportant details, and nobody really cares about that shit. Because actually, I do know what got me here, who inspired me to stay and try one more time. He's standing right here, and he might actually have, have a speech prepared, because... In incomprehensible as it might be, this idiot actually believes in me. Aww. Give it up for Sagiri. <laughs> I don't think I can actually tell you what kind of person Tom Oliver is. Not because he's some aloof douchebag, but because I'd be missing the point, and you are too if you're listening to this. 
the people sitting in the computer lab are experiencing the truest representation of his love art polymath right now, and so you should honestly just fucking go there. You won't regret it. Maybe you'll see what true passion looks like and be inspired in the same way because I... Here goes nothing. I love this man. Capital L love. And I'd repeat the bullshit that was the past few weeks anytime. I turn towards Tom, fear swelling up inside me. What have I done? I feel like I might pass out. Then... Then... <laughs> Is this gonna be our um, first actual fuck ending? Um, all the anxiety is washed away as his lips touch mine. The hairs of his mustache softly brush against my face. Some students cheer at the eyes where I'm slowly empties. I want this <laughs> moment to last forever. Good end. Ah! Like, ah, you did it. You I did, did it. I fucked Tom. You go back to his van and you pee in his butt. Ew! <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Oral Barista says there are no fuck endings. No, it's this just is... that the true fuck ending happens at the at the end after the credits roll. Yeah, exactly. When you go back to his when you go back to his van and pee in his butt. Exactly. <laughs> Drippy Squid Guy has no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Glass of orange juice says his butt has successfully been peed in. <laughs> Why are you so insistent on Tom being a bottom? Because exactly, exactly, <laughs> like you know, like <laughs> frankly, I'm more of a bottom, so Tom could top me any day. Yeah, yeah, granted. Oh, hey, Smeerg actually helped with the making of the thing. That's cool. Yeah. Damn. Uh, Ethan Strobel, let's see. Jewel, da, 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 da. I'm, look, I'm looking at all the names, seeing if I can Randy recognize Fred. them. E. E. Derpy Squid Guy. I literally just got here. I thought this was just a musical theater channel. Uh, <laughs> oh, in no. part, like, <laughs> not entirely. <laughs> like, yes, in part, it is a musical theater channel, but it's also a grass channel and an anime channel and now a PCP dating sim channel. <laughs> yeah, for the last couple of days, we've been streaming the uh, the PC the Procrastinators podcast dating simulator, and. Uh, it's been a multi-hour ride. If this is the first you're stepping into this world, um, I am glad to have ruined it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my madness. I am a multi-pronged YouTuber, yo. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. We need to see what the other ending was. Um, do you want to see what happens if you just give in and pass out? I guess. Okay. What happens if I lose consciousness? All right. Well, um, if you like our personalities, you can totally... Oh, hey, I Japanese. I can partially read this. Okay. Uh, konnichiwa, uh, kanji, uh, na kachikana san, sigiri san? Uh, I don't know. Um, and then a bunch of katakana, uh... De suka? Deska? So there's a question in there. Yeah. Konnichiwa something something deska. A girl's voice makes me come to my senses. What the? What the fuck is this? <gasps> Azumi! What did you say? I asked if you were alright. I guess. My head just hurts a little. How did I get here, wherever it is, and who are you? I guess we're in modern day feudal Japan, obviously, and my name will be Izumi. Modern day Japan isn't feudal. Why would you even specify the time period? How could I be a ninja if it weren't? <laughs> that is an excellent question. Never fucking mind then. Apart from being a ninja, Azumi also seems to be one-armed raccoon lady. Therefore, establishing that everything I thought to know about reality is clearly wrong. I can't even remember my own name, for God's sake. Let me just drink this useless fuck's... Oh, oh, it's a sword. You want to be the sword? Let me just drink this useless fuck's blood already. Or at least just leave him here to die. Unlike Azumi, who speaks in a way that is almost uncannily anime, 
shows a hint of accent, this guy sounds gruff and thoroughly American. I feel Japan must be quite multicultural nowadays. Not to seem paranoid, because there's clearly no reason to be, but what does he mean by drink my blood? Oh, hello you weird human, are you okay, is what the Japanese said. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I can read, I can tell you what the hiragana says, but I can't tell you what it means. Cool, I really appreciated it, though. Simply ignore him. He has an exceedingly one-track mind, even by the standards of curse words. Curse swords. That's what I meant to say. Oh, so you guys have some sort of good cop, bad cop deal going on? Got it. I have no idea what good cop is. A type of monster? Uh, no. Yes, cops are monsters, and that's why you should ha kill them. Yeah, exactly. Dab. 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 <laughs> Ugh, we're still going. <laughs> no, well, it's not really worth explaining. What I mean is that one of you takes care of intimidation while the other lulls the suspect into a false sense of security. We don't really do either of that. Intimidation is kind of unnecessary when you just can kill things. Lovely. <laughs> I love her face right here. <laughs> yeah, Azumi's the fucking best. My facial expression might have come off as a little too judging, as Izumi feels the need to justify herself. There are countless forces in which seek to cause harm to the inhabitants of this land, both systematic and localized in the form of murderous monstrosities. Having to resort to, resort to solutions beyond the magic of friendship comes from the territory <laughs> of living in a society. We live in a society. So you're just running around slaying monsters and probably trying to exact revenge on whichever shady character looks your took your arm, right? Not for the arm. My jackass of a sword sliced that off to satiate his bloodthirst. But essentially. Interesting. That that cool. like I'm not up on my Azumi lore. Neither am I. Deeply disturbing as that may be, I have never been so close to having my childhood dream be of becoming an outlawed ninja come true. I have to take this opportunity. Not that I actually remember anything about my childhood, but come on, who wouldn't want to, who wouldn't have that dream? A joyless Philistine, that's who. You might want my help then. You see, for you see, I was the most feared swordsman in all the land where I came from. And where would that be, shitface? And where would that be, shitface? Oh, oh, oh I, 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 I didn't realize that was a sword. Damn it. Um, Butsutanjo? Butsutanjo? Bo Boston. Boston. It's fucking oh Boston. Oh my god. Butsutan. Yes, it's a mysterious village unknown to the outside world because anyone who's ever visited there was killed by excellent warriors. Stabbing people has a long tradition in Butsutan. Butsutan. Uh. Uh. Well, fuck. His story checks out. Welcome aboard, Jim. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell fucking yes. <laughs> I am living for this. Oh my god. Okay. This we is awesome. We should get going then. The next wave is coming soon. Oh, this is great. Oh my god. I don't know. Oh, oh my god. We retreat into a welcomingly fur furnished underground lair, and Izumi changes into a more comfortable getup. The TV and PlayStation seem especially out of place. All right, so what do we have here? We have a PlayStation branded with a PlayStation 2 sticker. Um, ramen. We got ramen. We've got one of those, like, weeaboo pump thermos things full of tea, presumably. Um, I guess. We got a plush down there that has a shuriken sticking out of it. Burr um, in the trash can. <laughs> uh, as i'm beating up the mic and i take another bite of the burger that i dropped in the trash last night oh. it's a rotten reference fuck yeah i see i am Let's, game sticker. sticker i am game sticker namco bandai um up here is um uh from from shinobi i'm gonna take this opportunity to use the bathroom so you keep talking about what's in this room uh, 
All right, so we have the 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 the, the slimoid here, um, the 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 juvie slimoid. Uh, uh, what's what's its name? Um, come on. The slimoid went to college. Come on. Uh, I just read this comic like like a week ago. To me, rent whoopity. Yeah, yeah, whoopity. We have an Uwoopity. Uh, I should recognize this. Um, all right, I'm tapped out. Speaking of being tapped out, if you enjoy the little um, vignettes that we take here and there, where we speculate about a topic and like deep dive talk about it for a minute or two, uh, and you want more of that kind of content, stretched out to like 40 minutes but all just as rich you should totally click the link at the bottom of the description of this video and follow it through to the arch plays where you can find a our most recent episode called uh, evocatively titled the venn diagram of why we can't be friends um that's our most recently published episode we have like five more in the backlog that will come out as soon as i finish my the video on my um channel but uh that's an instructional and you don't really need to worry about that anyway okay, so um, this... point being talk about uh, uh come come watch the arch plays so the streaming everyday shit is really bad for my alcohol tolerance cause... your alcohol tolerance yeah because that i'm <laughs> like usually i cap it off with like two and a half wines and then like feel too sick to continue. But now I've had three wines and I'm about to open up my fourth one. So we can't stream again today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, we need some time for you to reset. Exactly. I need to be the, you know, straight edge weirdo that... Shut up! <laughs> for the folks at home who can't see, I pointed at the can that had not had its tab flipped over. Because, because you're bullying me into a behavior that you want me to exhibit from now on. Yes. Yes, I do. Flipping up a tab to uh, two and a half glasses or bottles. They're actually... Um, how much is how much is in this? This is... Like, we're doing the Tom Wine thing. This is a 12 fluid ounce, 5% alcohol by volume spritzer. Yep, um, um, like a, a, a hard seltzer. Yeah, this one that I'm holding is a White Claw that your sister gave you, but normally we have Trulies here. Yeah, I'm very much hard on the Truly train because White Claws, like, it depends. Like, the White Claw lime was actually was better than the Truly lime, but the White Claw Black Cherry is fucking disgusting. Why would anyone drink that shit? And why do I have another can of it? I'm just trapped now drinking it because what am I going to do? I'm not just going to pass it off on someone else. No, I have to use the alcohol that I've got, you know, because I'm in quarantine. I can't just go buy some new ones. So what am I going to do? I just got to drink it. I'm going to be the Jesus Christ of alcohol. God damn it. You're going to take on the alcohol of the world and drink it so that they don't have to. Exactly. So no one has to suffer the White Claw Black Cherry. God, that's just disgusting. Upon closer <laughs> inspection, I find that we are not alone. <laughs> on the couch lurks a slime modal entity, which I had first mistakenly as a, to be a pillow. Is that, is that Oopity? Uh, that's Oopity. Oh! The slime that just wanted to go to university and get a good job. Oh. It's the real whoopity. I jump backwards. <clears throat> Azumi, draw your sword. The enemy has made it in here. The enemy? Oh, I love casual Azumi. Azumi is so confused. Oh my god, she is so adorable. Ooh, woo. You don't mean widow old me, do you? Ah, oh, whoopity, you card. I did, actually. Oh, I also kind of didn't assume you could talk, so, um. I turned to Izumi. What's his deal? He's a victim of the world's cruelty, like all of us. A forsaken soul who studies the blade to right the wrongs of the system responsible for his suffering. Whoopity has been red-pilled. 
Well, yeah, because he was screwed over. Like, they didn't make enough money to, like, save him. Like, yeah, Red Man tried to save him, and then, like, some other thing tried, and then Azumi saved him. But, you know, like, eh, he, he, the, 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 the physical damage doesn't uh, negate the emotional damage that was done to poor Uwoopity. Like, Uwoopity, save Uwoopity, hashtag save Uwoopity. Swine Corp tried to dissolve me in piss because I wouldn't wet my identity be disavowed by the moral malaise of alienated labor, Lou. Awful fucking place. Bitches bleeding slime when I detach their limbs from their fucking bodies. It's messed up. I can't drink fucking slime. But thanks to Azumi Senpai's help, I'm still alive. I'll be able to enact righteous vengeance against the <laughs> corporate elites of New Los Angeles City, a.k.a. Neil Milwaukee, Ubu. Ah, Ubu, you charmer. <laughs> Hope for a brighter tomorrow. A future without rampaging beasts, bloodthirsty vermin, and unregulated corporatism. So, this is life as a ninja, huh? I sure could get used to it. Azumi pulls the controller out from under the television and hands it to me. Let's kill some monsters! I love that they put blush in her ears. It, oh, that's perfect. It's interesting. Maybe I'm not furry enough to understand it. Uh, ears like that have a high density of blood vessels, and so they'll oh, also get a little flushed when, when you would normally be, like, face blushing due to alcohol. What about cat ears? Also, yes. Scooter, do you ever flush? <laughs> Poor Here cat. There you go, kidder. Uh, she is the most unappreciated cat ever. Um, Derpy Squid Guy says, you know what game they need to play next time? Fortnite. The world's best video game in existence of the world. Let me tell you how much great game Fortnite is. Wait, I'm fucking out of cha. Fuck Fortnite. I am never playing that stuff. Stupid bullshit, cause, you know, Epic Games, fuck them! Like, watch a uh, uh, Jimquisition to understand what I'm fucking talking about, because, like, I can't, I'm too drunk to... Articulate? That's the word I was trying to find. Isn't it great that I articulate? Isn't it grand that you can understand? I get no kicks from champagne. Mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Severe brain damage and <laughs> severe love brain it. damage ending. <laughs> nice. I love the zooming end. Zoomy end. Yeah, the zoomy end is pretty great. Yes. Okay. Now we need to go. Uh, let's see. This was the load game. Okay, let's see what happens when I do the other one. Betray, Betray Tom, Tom and win this gay-ass election and hope that he'll forgive me. Let's do it! You know what will make it extra gay-ass? Mm -hmm. If you pee in it. I already peed in his butt, so it is so five minutes ago. <laughs> I lie on the floor covered in sweat and extremities stretched outward after the Herculean effort to cover the entire school in posters. Tom will come to see that I was right all along. Soon, a student steps over me, mumbling something about being nice while it lasted. B. Crunch got the reference I was putting down. Yeah! There's, There's no, no earthly, earthly way, way of, of knowing, knowing which direction, direction we are going. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Oh, I love that sequence. I love that movie. It's it so is, fucking good. I do too. Like, hot damn, guys. You don't understand how good it is. Like, oh, that sequence is so freaky. Like, it doesn't need, like, freaky visuals. It, it's like Gene Wilder carries it 100% because he's just that fucking good, guys. Rest in peace, Gene Wilder. Yeah. Why'd you have to bring me down? Don't bring me down. Don't bring me down. Don't bring me down. Don't bring me down. Tim Burton ruined Willy Wonka. The OG is so much better. Literally one of my favorites. I don't think.
think he ruined it because you can still go back to Willy Wonka and enjoy it. I mean, like, he, yeah. It was closer to the book. Okay, yeah. But who fucking cares? Like, what? What's the? What's the? Uh, like, uh, importance or uh, value of being closer to the book if the book like can't like compare to Willy Wonka and the fucking Chocolate Factory. Like, well, you know, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, well, the book didn't have the teacher interactions, but the teacher interaction was kind of funny too. Like, so who the fuck cares? I don't. So who cares about book accuracy? It's not the be all end all people. It also wasn't a perfect recreation of the book. There's a lot of yeah. extra stuff in it. There so, is. So calling it book interact or uh, book accuracy isn't correct. Yeah, and you know what's fucking stupid? So in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Charlie is like the fuckingest perfect angel ever. But then in Willy Wonka, Charlie does have flaws. He and Grandpa Joe does take drinks of the fizzy lifting drink, which Willy Wonka said don't do because it's not perfect yet. But you know what makes Charlie more better than every other the character in the fucking like a. Uh, uh, Chocolate Factory, it's because he actually returns the uh, 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 Everlasting Gobstopper re- instead of all the other characters who did it. He was the only one who did it, and that's what made him special. Not the fact that he was imperfect and made a bad decision. You know, that wasn't the point. The point was, if he, like, you know, could, like, uh, like if he wouldn't sell out Willy Wonka's secrets. That was the point. But, you know, in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it's that, oh, Willy Wonka is basically the Steven Universe to Willy Wonka. That's the point. No, it's not. Because that's fucking stupid. Because no kid is fucking perfect. Only angels are. And you know what? Angels are kind of shitty, too, because they're not really perfect. But, you know, modern, like, media think as they are. So who cares? What am I talking about? <laughs> um, at some point, we got onto the subject of theology. <laughs> It's like I don't even care about theology because I don't even know enough about theology to make like sense of it. Except for the fact that angels aren't perfect. But you know, they, they're pretty, I guess, because like in modern media, they look pretty. Like, yeah. what am I talking about? Uh, like, biblically accurate angels look like fucking Cthulhu. Which is, you know, I'll take my pretty angels any day. No, fuck that. I want the Cthulhu ones. I want that my, sounds awesome. I want my pretty boy angels. I want my gay ass shit angels who look like Tom Oliver and Ben Saint. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, if you're an art boy, draw an- angelic Ben Saint and Tom Oliver with with Vamp here. Like, yes! Like, Please. Um, huffing on clouds. The Ben Saint Angel can be like vaping the cloud that they are sitting on, I guess. That sounds pretty good. Oh my god, it would be so <laughs> perfect. I don't think anyone will do it because I'm not big enough or good enough to like get like you know, requ- by request fan art. I don't even have porn of myself, so I can't like s- act like I deserve this shit yet. You don't, you've said multiple times that you would be accepting of its existence, but wouldn't want to be shown I, it. I want to know that it exists, at least, that I'm porn worthy. Did you know that there's a Jaden Animations Rule 34 subreddit? Oh, I don't doubt it. Like, of course there is. I actually really appreciate that one of the rules is if you, if you try to tag um, her or anyone in her sphere so to try and drink, bring their attention to the subreddit, you will get permanently banned. Oh, I love that so much. I thought, yeah. about, I thought about making my own subreddit, but it's like, why? Don't have enough traction for it, you think? I mean, like, why bother? Like, who on Reddit cares about me? Draw Angel Michael Sheen. Uh, nah. I would draw it if I wasn't such a drunk, if it wasn't a drunk concept. <laughs> Yo, I legitimately think that this is a good idea, and I, I'm stone cold sober like, because I'm a straight edge boy. I know sober me enough would appreciate it and like would retweet it, like to my measly 170 followers. All right. Mm. <clears throat> All right. My entire body hurts as I get up to avoid the traffic tragic fate of being trampled to death by students en route to their 815 courses. Oh, what the fuck? 9-11 bunches up a shirt and throws in the garbage. Oh, no. 
Hey, that was an election shirt. Yeah, why? Are you still rooting for that fraud? Oh no! How the shit is he a fraud? Even on these posters, the truth is nothing. The truth is the truth and nothing but the truth. Buddy, I've been used and abused by presidential candidates like you wouldn't even believe. But this is a new fucking low. Being a co-founder of this place and then going all tear down the system when it doesn't work out for him anymore, how is America supposed to trust this guy? I mean, he has a point. It wasn't like that. He... Oh, save your breath. If you're going to take one lesson away from this debacle, make it sure, make it that no one will cause fire and destruction for you. Oh, shit. You need your own jet to make that shit happen. <laughs> Apart from deeply worrying implications of everything you just said, how does his past prevent him from doing any of this? If it wasn't important, why would he advertise it? If it wasn't important, why would he ad advertise it? What? What? Fuck you. It shows competence! Yeah, right. The government clearly brainwashed you, kid. So I'm just gonna leave. Fuck you, 9-11. Well, this is awful. Worse than awful. I'm completely screwed. And what about Tom? People will think it was his idea. Let's see. Our barista says, being straight edge is kind of cringe. All right, um... I should probably clarify that I'm, I'm not like Frank from House Party, all right? It's just that the drugs that I want to take are all the drugs that make me smarter, and all the drugs that they sell are drugs that make you dumber. So you would probably want um, that one strain of weed, uh, in Indica, I think, that like, you know, is more like creativity boosting. All right. I am against smoking things. Well, like edibles. Edibles like are brownies. All. Brownies are the best fucking shit ever. No, it's not the best fucking shit ever. But brownies are really good, especially if they're like slightly chewy. And you know, well, actually, we're, I, I we're can't. We're getting away from the drug content. Well, no, 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 I'm not. Because actually, I'm not. Sh I was about to say drug brownies would taste really good, but I don't know because my only. Uh, Example of drug brownies were the fucking bullshits. The ones <laughs> like that the, mask burned? The worst thing ever created. The worst fucking brownies ever. That I only had one bite and it destroyed me to the point where I had to call off work. So fuck that shit. <laughs> like, I mean, I want to try real unburnt brownies made by professionals. Like, never ask masks to bake drug things All ever right. again i had the setup like i was responsible for the setup and i i turned the the heat too high so it's not a mask 100 percent mask put like, too much into every bite and also like didn't go back and check them when the time was up so like okay uh, like, yeah. i'm not i'm not taking on full responsibility i'm just pointing out that it's like it's but there's multiple parties involved here. They were, okay, they so were it's me your... and Mask and Jen's fault all at once. So, okay, so yeah, it's your fault that they were burnt. But it's Mask's fault that he put too much into it. Or, well, why'd I call him he? Because Mask is not... Mask is nothing. Mask is nothing. Yeah. Mask is... I'm, I'm doing the PCP issue. You're doing the PCP guy issue? Where yeah. Where you're just retrofitting he onto every person? Basically, like, I'm... He... I am he is you are he is you are he and we are all together. Come together. No, that's not the song. Come together? No, it's not the song. Is it's it... I'm the walrus. Cuckoo choo. I don't know the Beatles. No, you don't. And it pisses me off every time because I know the Beatles. B Crunch says, Vamp, will you be okay? <sighs> I will be okay. Like, so... Real vamp time. With these streams, I lean into the alcohol craziness because I'm terrified of not being entergaging enough. I don't feel like my usual personality is enough to be entertaining because I'm very reserved and naturally I, you know, I get wrapped up in that fear of being entertaining. So what I do is I lean into alcohol to in, um, Take away that inhibition. Take away that fear of not being good enough. And like you leave it up? Or you go up for it? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Like, I just embrace the craziness. Embrace the drunkenness because I'm terrified if I don't, then I'm not going to be interesting. 
that I won't be making these streams worth watching. Yeah, my videos are worth watching because it's strip it's scripted. It's like intentionally the best part of my intellectual mind. But these vid these streams are not scripted, so I don't know I don't know how to recreate like that purified um like taken like the best like the best taken out of myself sort of version so I just try to be crazy and funny and just generally interesting to listen to not necessarily on an intellectual level while while I still think I am still intellectually interesting because like everything I say comes from somewhere inside of me it's like at the core I'm scared of not being interesting enough to justify doing these streams and it's a bit of a catch-22 because I like doing these streams but I don't want to be uninteresting so I drink but then when I do these streams I don't I want people to watch this so I feel like I need a drink so it just keeps going back to the alcohol you know like I don't feel like I can really enjoy doing these streams unless I can somehow remove that fear in me you know and, and that's a hard thing to cultivate in yourself. And the, oh, very the, the much thing so. That I, the thing that I always push for is I want, like, if you're using uh, drugs to be a better version of yourself instead of a temporarily modified version of yourself, I think you're doing it wrong most of the time. Like, I would want to affect a permanent change in myself via, yeah. like, uh, conditioning and training and stuff like that. I'm, I'm way more on the Batman side of things. Like, I'm sure if I finally get therapy, maybe I'll be better at trusting that I'm actually good rather than being like Tom and just assuming that everything I do is bad. Hmm. But I'm not at that point right now. I, I don't know how to self-care. I don't know how to convince myself that I'm actually okay and that people would actually want to click on these streams because I'm good somehow. So I have to, so I feel like I have to lean into alcohol to at least for these streams make me seem like the kind of person you would want to listen to. Like, frankly, these streams are the most I drinking that I do these days. Yeah, like, there you. I have never seen. I haven't in the past year seen you drink other than at, at the stream. Yeah, like the only team time that I would drink would be for um, uh, like. At BronyCon. No, I actually didn't really drink at BronyCon. I, I thought you had a glass of um, of that rosé. I had a glass, but I didn't... I purposely didn't, like, drink too much more, like, to get tipsy enough. Now, like, uh, getting, like, drunk-ish, like, I used to do that, like, when playing Overwatch, like, and, like, you know, singing on custom servers because I found that fun. But then I stopped playing Overwatch because, you know, Blizzard, Blizzard activation is evil. is evil and uh, uh, a puppet of China like the CCP but so that took away my like one of my reasons to drink so now the only reason I have to drink is like either for super destructive stuff which I usually don't get into or these streams so yeah I will be okay like the past three days I've been fine like uh, you know I, I go to bed properly you know I do take care of myself after these streams and I wake up feeling fine so. Yeah, you hydrate and everything. You, like, you I haven't woken up hungover I, after. I try to things. hydrate. I've not felt hungover the past few days. Like I have a feeling I might feel hungover this time, just cause like you had a, a whole extra. Well, like it's not yet. Like I've still got like two thirds of it's left, but I am on a whole extra can this time. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, to scroll up a little bit, Derby Squid Guy says. Is that 9-11 thing just in the game? Yep. Yes, 100%. 9-11 is a beloved character. Um, yep. 9-11 is great. Um, <laughs> perfect 9 out of 11. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I think it's great just by you being you. I clicked because they're your streams. Well, thank you, B Crunch. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Understand that it's hard to internalize because... Like, you can say that, but at the end of the day, what matters is what I feel in my head. And mm. if I'm not enjoying the stream, if I feel like I'm not being interesting, then it doesn't matter. Like, that's just, that's the be-all, end-all. 
I think that like the the reason that I don't harp on you for for like drinking on stream or anything like that is because I think you're doing exactly th the good thing with um with drinking which is uh you have a specific altered state that you need for a particular purpose and you're not just treating like chemical self-destruction as though it is the gateway to a better version of yourself you know like it's a little bit you're not you're not trying bit... you're not trying to make it you're not trying to be permanently drunk no no i'm not because like Permanently drunk is not how I want to be. Like, I enjoy just being able to be quiet and, you know, be able to, like, I guess there is a healthy level of self-hatred <laughs> is the best way I can put it. And so, like, a lot of times I don't want to feel that. But sometimes, like in these streams, I want to just feel like, who cares, let's be my inhibited self because if i can't sell myself then what am i what am i even doing on youtube hmm. yeah i get that okay i'm All gonna right. hit the bathroom okay yeah i'll be right back oh wow i'm <laughs> uh starting to feel the the spin not the spin but like my my body is kind of like more so just like, woo, you know? Floofy toopsie. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. All right. Uh, B Crunch says, you are both very welcome. I know how you feel, but I'm uncomfortable saying why in a public way. Um, I, I think I get enough of an impression from of, uh, of what you're putting down there that I can pick it up. Yeah. Like, hard times and stuff. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. So, you guys liking the stream? You, uh, like, the past three days have been very irregular for the way that we do these streams. Normally, there's a lot more of the level that we're currently at with um, fan interaction and talking to the chat and question and answer and stuff like that. And uh, I feel like we're pulling a different crowd this time, you know? I relate to a lot of this. I spent a year pretty much constant drunk, and it was a bad time. I think I use it well nowadays. Yeah, the banter is great. All right, all right. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Uh, give consideration to our knockoff Digibros, which is the Arch Plays. Or, um... All right. A lot of these I'm going to read, read out when she gets back. Um... There's the faucet, so she should be back pretty shortly. Yeah, um, let's see. Um, every alternate week, under normal circumstances, we do a video watch-along where it's something like this, but we're watching a movie or a, a listening to a musical or something like that, where we yeah. will pause for commentary. And we'll like have this kind of banter back and forth with each other in the middle of it that's related to it. I think it's the best way to watch a movie, even though it takes like twice as long as the actual running time of the movie. Uh, Aura Barisa says, I relate to a lot of this. I spent a lot of a, a year pretty much constant drunk and it was a bad time. I think I use it well nowadays in response to my like um, better methods of self medication. That's good. Um, here. They, I asked if they're enjoying the stream so far and the like dynamic that we've got going, and cool. uh, the answer is a is a pretty good yes. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Ian, I appreciate your vulnerability here, Vamp. I'm here because I like the content you create, mostly in regards to Degrassi stuff. Didn't realize you've been streaming, so I want to check it out. Good. Yeah, yeah. I make a lot of other content other than Degrassi. YouTube has basically pigeonholed me into only be, being a Degrassi person. But I've got other interests, and like, I understand Degrassi is, there's only so much I can get, I can put out about Degrassi. So, like, I've been trying to, you know, being able, try, I've been trying to 
position myself to where I can talk about other things because I have other interests. Like, Degrassi is a major part of my life, but so is musicals and anime. So, and, you know, like, these streams, I find them kind of fun to do. Like, I... <laughs> It's just nice to be able to interact with people, like, because when you make a video, you're basically shouting into the void, and that can be very disheartening. But then when you're doing streams, you actually get interaction with people. Yeah, reading comments is kind of like shouting into the void, and then 10 hours later, you get a couple of echoes from other people. Basically. Uh, BC, B Crunch says, glad vamp's okay. Thank you. Or Barista says, I watched some of your musical content today and liked it. No idea what Degrassi is. <laughs> Degrassi is a... Um, it's a teen Canadian show, often it, known for its drama, but it is some of the realest shit out there. Like, if you want, like, if you want to see what, like, you know, experiences of teenagers looks like, like being displayed in media... And seeing, like, the different paths that they can take. Kind of like a visual novel. Like, how different people might take, like, getting pregnant. Or l just take being a person in general in the modern age. Then, like, Degrassi is your pick, dude. I would call Degrassi a time capsule of different... Uh, of, of every year that it aired in. Where it's Very about... So. It's about the issues of the day through the lens of how kids at the time would have seen and interacted with it. And overall, it is well-written. There are some, of course, hiccups, because, you know, any long-running series like Degrassi, which has run for over, like, a, over like, a, like just about 20 seasons or so, like, in its entirety, because it started in the 80s, and, like, the first uh, era ended in the 90s, and then started again in the 2000s, and then ended in, like, 2016, like, it is a very long-running show, and so it very much captures the in-the-day sentiment of teens. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. If you um, are in the in-between space and you just want more of it, of, of our interactions, you can get that through the Arch Plays. Mm -hmm. um, you can follow us in the, in the Discord server to get... Um, oh, that's another thing, an important thing. If you are not getting videos from us, we do post 100% of our content in the content stream channel on the Arch Discord. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if YouTube is only showing you some of my content, then if you want to see everything that I put out that is, you know, available to the public, then you want to be in the Discord and, you know, check out the content stream channel. I like how Hazel shows minority youths can end up as bad as their tormentors. I feel a lot of uh, soapy stuff is very North American in nature and often kind of unrelatable for Europeans. I would love to watch a European equivalent of Degrassi. Uh, there is. Skins. Like the, uh, like the original, um, like, uh, UK version. Hmm. People often compare that to Degrassi. The high school setting is very different around here. Degrassi is the most accurate to real life high school setting, I think, of anything that gets depicted in American media. That most, I've seen, yeah. Most media depictions of high school are nothing like the experience of high school. Mm -hmm. Not to say Degrassi hasn't, like, delved into the er area of, like... Hollywood? Yeah, Hollywood. But for the most part, it is very real to how, you yeah. know... There will, there will be someone's like someone's teen experience like maybe be, not yours but someone's there will be like a four-year stretch where it's like perfect accuracy and then a um basically when the n was in charge it became hollywood nonsense yeah well like here and there you know just depends i love mean girls but it feels like a different universe yes yeah mean girls yeah. is 100 percent a different universe and yeah and like heathers and and stuff like that is also like very time capsule oriented like if you go to high school right now, it's not going to be like Mean Girls. No. There, there was a time when Mean Girls represented what the average high school experience was like, but that was only like a five-year span when yeah. the movie was being made. Like, I think back to how my older sister, who was born in like 1980, refers to like cliques and like, you know, like yuppie and stuff. And like, that captures a very specific type of like person and like social group that just doesn't exist today. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, by the Tormentor's bit, I almost... Yeah, well, we understood. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to this game. Yeah. Because I want to see where this leads. Is there still some time to take down all these posters? I try to lift my arm, and I don't manage to raise it enough... Raise it more than halfway. Has he seen it yet? Fuck! I've run outside to see if his car is still there, but not before making a detour through the furnace room. I don't know what's going on. Tom! Did you come to say goodbye? Look, I understand you're angry. I should have listened to you, but I can make it. I'm not angry. How in the absolute fuck can you be not angry? Because this was the plan anyways. I was making preparations for my escape from this hell on the day we met. <laughs> this election shit was fun, and I'm sad that it's over. And I'm sad that you didn't understand why this was so important to me, but I get the, but I get why you went through with it in, anyways. If he's mad, he's certainly not showing it. Well, aside from the sin in his car, Ray, drive away forever thing, but what I mean is that he's not showing it on his face. Tom looks more resigned than anything else. Is there nothing I could do to make you stay? Not really. I'm kind of glad that the campaign failed, though. Uh, failed through this, though. I still have a way to market Azumi without the pony connection, thanks to that. Oh, I took some other precautions. Well, it's over now. And th this was in inevitable from the start, and I'm more hopeful than anything else, really. You don't have to leave entirely. You can stay in Boston. Tom, I love you. No, you don't. You love the idea of this project, of helping. Maybe you even love my art, but if you truly loved me, you would have listened. Maybe you convinced yourself that those are the same thing. Wow. So, what's next? I'll finally escape from society with all of its fucking bullshit and live a life as an auteur game developer and 3D artist in the back of a van. Maybe fight the occasional kaiju if they show up and try to survive until 2027 when Deus Ex becomes canon. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Find something else to take my time into, I guess. It still doesn't seem real that it's over. I hope you find what you really want to do. The heartfelt moment is interrupted by a sudden shift in his expression. Do I smell smoke? What's going on? You yeah. went to the furnace oh! and burned it down. Oh shit! Yeah, I set the school on fire so Azumi's reputation could be safe. Oh. Well, goodbye to that hellhole. Bad end. <sighs> yeah, I consider that a bit of a bad end. Like, I am glad that we found the good end first. Like, hot damn. <laughs> Derby Squid Guy says, what the hell? <laughs> you know, just burn down school, like, you know, why not? Like, fuck it all, you Let's know? Let's see. I like how the caddy at the end says that she won't like the plastics come back and cool. My fave Tom Oliver is the Power Rangers guy. Lo <laughs> let. Uh, you love the idea of me is so movie. It yeah, is. It is very it, cinematic, but it, he actually talks like that. Yeah, and I can definitely understand that. You know, as someone who has been there in the, like... You know, um, like, w one of the pivotal uh, parasocial relationship positions. Derpy Squid Guy says, what the hell? That was an ending? How does that make any sense? I think it does. Tom I think may cool. well say, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could, and I don't care. Oh, I appreciate. Excellent. Ouroborista says, very Heathers. Wait, there's a that anime snob in this? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, please. I bet that's on Digi's route. It has to be. It, that's the only thing that makes sense. Fucking fantastic. Yeah. Devu version 1, Devu version 2, Devu Sun. Okay. Mage had the end. All right. Gosh. Jesse's note. Red man suck. <laughs> Nate Kamina. Man. He's on Digi's route. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, like, he's the only one who makes sense to be on. No, cat, you're not going to step on me because I need to go over here and charge my phone. Don't tread on me, cats. 
I know your game. I know you're gay. Uh, a nation once again. A nation once again. It's a Hard Day's Night reference for all you Beatles fan. Uh, what? You wouldn't understand because you're not a real Beatles fan. Well, wait, you should understand because you watched the goddamn movie. Yeah, but I'm not catching the reference. It's not like I remember the Beatles music. It's not the Beatles music. It's from Hard Day's Night. You know, Paul's grandfather. Okay. You know, you know. You know, you know, you know. I, I vaguely know This could be beautiful. That. Mascara, maybe some lip gloss, and we're on our way. Get this girl some blush. And Heather, I need your brush. Let's make her beautiful. <laughs> um, hmm, what's up? Let's see. Tom, love means never having to say you're sorry. Ooh. Aww. The CG you saw at the end is called Gaze Ablaze. It's drawn by Ugly Patch. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I liked it. That's pretty great. Yeah. Our summer musical, Cat, if you get that reference, you are a you are true comedy. I like cats. <laughs> uh, sing Power of One by from Pokemon. I don't know that. <laughs> like I don't think I know that. Hey, if you put a P at the end of Sim, you get Simp. Ha ha ha. Lol. 2K20 memes, babies. All right. Let's talk about this for a second. What is with the sudden overnight explosion of the word Simp? Like, I don't know if it's overnight, but definitely it's... It feels like any other meme where it just suddenly becomes huge and everyone's using it and then eventually it slowly dies out and then suddenly no one's using it. I mean, it's a useful idea to, to, to discuss, like being able to have a, a term for somebody who just like does anything that somebody wants for the sake of a, getting attention regardless of its content. I mean, I guess. I just hate the sound of simp. I hate the, the term. Like... Ah, it just implies so much stupidness. Like I hate, I hate the idea of referring to someone as a simp. It's like, it's like a harsher form of normie. I literally made the "Hello, you PCP dating simps" joke on May's podcast while I was discussing the game. Nice. Let's see. Um, I blame PewDiePie. That's what the media wants me to do. I say that in context to the word simp. Oh. Yeah, PewDiePie talking about simps probably did blow it up, if Is that's what happened. Is he in on it? I had no idea. I don't watch PewDiePie. Who cares about PewDiePie in 2020? I guess a lot of people, actually. Yeah, probably like a million people. Yeah, a million more people who aren't subscribed to me. I love that song, by the way. It's from Pokemon the Movie 2000. Yeah, Power of One is the, is the subtitle of Pokemon the Movie 2000. I've not watched any Pokemon movie. I've only, like, experienced them, uh, like, tangentially, vicariously, through reviews. Um, the third one is Silent Hill for Kids. Hmm. I've heard the second one's really good. Second, the second one is good. Um, the first three are good, and they stop being good after that. Yeah, that's what I hear. I can sing songs if you want. Like, I can sing musical songs. Don't ask me to sing Pokemon songs unless it's, unless it's the, the theme song that everyone knows. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Copyright strike. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land. Searching far and wide Each Pokemon to understand The power that's inside Pokemon, gotta catch them all A heart so true No, 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 it's you and me No, damn it, damn it, you're right I know uh, it's I my destiny it Pokemon, ooh, you're my best friend In a world we must defend Pokemon, ooh a heart so true. 
encourage you, pull, pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Gotta, Gotta catch them all. all. Pokemon. Yo, does anybody else get a Crush 40 vibe from the guy who sings the Pokemon theme? No idea what that is. Crush 40 is the band that does the music for uh, Sonic Adventure and onwards. Hmm. They've been in every Sonic game since then, I think. Oh, cool. Every main Sonic game. Man, now I just want to sing songs, hold, but... Hold on, what's happening here? What? Right as I say something, the chaos stops. Yeah. Man, like, now that I've started singing, now I want to just keep singing, but no one's going to care about it. So. The fans clearly care. Uh, we have B Crunch uh, waving a lighter up in here. Okay. Like, I could sing more shit. Like, you guys want to sing, like, Once Upon... Want to wanna hear me sing Once Upon a December? Because I feel like singing Once Upon a December now. Is that the song from Anastasia? Yeah! You, you like the music from Anastasia. You just hate Anastasia. Like most musicals. <laughs> <laughs> like, why do you think I keep singing Heathers? <laughs> Dancing oh. there's painted wings, things I almost remember, and a song someone sings once upon a December. December. Someone holds me safe and warm. Horses prance through a silver storm. Figures dancing gracefully across my memory. Far away, long ago, glowing dim as an ember things my heart used to know things it yearns to remember and a song someone sings once upon a December. The only song anyone cares about in Anastasia. I will take your word for it. I mean, I'm sure it's the only one. Because that's the only one that I can think of that probably made it into the Anastasia musical. Then again, I didn't rewatch Anastasia before watching the Anastasia musical. So what do I know? I don't know. Um... I like In the Dark of the Night. In the dark of the night, in the dead of winter, pleasure is needing. This is not at all how I remember that song, though. It is not the song. You you reminded me, it's the song from uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay. Uh, Like the musical, not the movie. (laughs) Yeah. All right, um... So, if you want to watch a movie with us, uh, tune in uh, next weekend. Is that right? Uh, Friday or Saturday. We'll figure out what time. Usually around. Yeah. Well, usually around Friday or Saturday. Who cares? Because we're on quarantine, so we got all the time in the world, baby. You got to be in our Discord server, and you got to keep an eye out for an announcement. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know what we're going to watch yet, but we typically figure out what we're going to watch within the last couple of days before the watch long. Yeah, it's usually like two or three days prior, and it's usually something um, that's thematically appropriate to whatever's happening. Hell, maybe we should watch Anastasia, because I need to remind myself why I fucking hate it. I am super down for discussing Anastasia with you. Because it's fucking bad. I insist that we never watched it together. Like, I, I haven't... I, I, we did not watch it. Probably not. Yeah. So, yeah. Anything in the chat to wrap up? Um, people I'm... like the idea. Cool. I'm going to cut myself off from singing because I know I can go, like, way overboard than what people actually want. 
Derpy Squid Guy says there needs to be a karaoke stream. Mm. Um, not right now, just at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, B Crunch says, uh, what about the first end credit song? Uh, and then after we started talking about movie night, done and done, beloved friends. Yes, because I love it. Cool. I want, I'm always, I'm hesitant to do like a karaoke stream because mm. I feel like I'm the only one who will enjoy it. Okay. Um, uh, Oral Barista, you have been around. Do you want to chat in Discord after this, maybe? I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to bed after this. Okay. I, I wouldn't want to keep you up then. No. Like, usually I drink right before bed, so. Okay. I am interested in getting your feedback about our feedback. Yeah, like, let us know, like, what you think of it. Like... I mean, I guess you must be semi-interested since you come back for day three. Yeah. Um, I, I think I might spend like 20 or so minutes uh, downstairs on Discord or something like that. Okay, either way, yeah. Yeah. Discord had been acting out, but I figured out a solution. Cool. Cool. Okay, well, otherwise I think let's wrap this shit up. Okay. Um, so long for well, a Vita's and goodbye. Yeah. All right. Arborista, I'll see you on your Discord server. All right? Yeah. Thank you all for joining us. And yeah, thank you, Arborista and others, for making this game. Like, I am so hyped that it exists and I love it. I'm definitely going to play, like, at the very least, the Digi route. Like, I, I want to see about other routes too. And yeah, I don't know if I'll play them on, I doubt I'll play them on stream because I think we've uh, ran this meme into the ground now. Yeah, uh, we're, we're going to have to loop back to this to this game in the future. I do want to play it again on stream in the future. Just uh, we might want to give it a while for the audience to reset. In yeah. the meantime, though, I'm going to play it to 100% completion because I'm that kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, Oro uh, was involved in creating this game. So, yeah, yeah, thank you. Like, he wrote the Tom, Digi, and Davu route. I would absolutely fucking love to get a blind reaction from somebody who doesn't know any of this shit. I mean, that's uh, B Crunch and, you know, Derby Squid Guy, so. <laughs> no, I mean, like, where they were playing it. Okay, fair, fair. This is a really good game, so yeah, Orobrista, be proud of what you helped create. Mm -hmm, this is mm -hmm. wonderful. I love it. So thank you all again for joining us on this adventure, and we are done streaming for the week, I think. Unless, like, you know, our quarantine-crazed minds come up with something else to stream. All right, all right. Thank you again, and have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.